I wanted to do some some spell jammer, and I had an itching for some a one shot, especially since Isaac teased one shot on Monday, and then we didn't get to do it. I did. You, <laughs> you did that. <laughs> yeah, you did that. <laughs> you teased a one shot, then we didn't do it. Well, I said one shot question mark, and then he said something else, which implied tease. Which got me thinking one shot. And then he said, never mind, we'll just cancel. <laughs> and then Francisco tonight was like, oh, why, yeah. don't, why don't we play something else? <laughs> so oh, yeah. Francisco's getting sure. tired of the campaign. I took that as no, an no, opportunity. No. I, I like I like one shot. To murder. Or I like, they're fun every now and then. I've always then. wanted to murder you guys, so I'm taking this. Yeah, you know, sometimes you get on my nerves. And so then it's time for yeah. a, uh, a, a funnel. Yeah, I love the funnel we did last time, but last time I did a um, a module. I'm not a big module fan, so this is all from my head. Mostly. You're not a big module fan? Like written modules and trying to follow along and... Yeah, I think Hol I think I think why we didn't why we canceled on Monday is what Holly said. Isaac was not planning to do a one shot, and you know how he feels about surprises. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. True story. <laughs> Surprise! Can't, can't uh, I wasn't going to tell you guys, which I didn't tell anyone until Isaac showed up earlier. It's one shot, Spelljammer nights, Funnel nights. We've got all all of them in there. Um, I'll give you a description. What's surprising. going on? We'll, we'll open the story, and then we'll explain some things. So, all right, explain some things. Beginnings. They came from the sky two years ago today. Since then, they've been rounding up every able-bodied villager and sending them off to the mines, attempting to pilfer the planet for every resource they can get out of it. A resistance was formed. Your people oh, have built ships, you fought in the skies, you attempted to be uh, a nice thorn in the side as much as possible. That wasn't you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're too old. You're too young. You're too feeble to be of any use of either side. Until now. So it begins, you guys, on a uh, nice, pleasant market day. You're the commoners. You're the townsfolk of the um, <coughs> of the town of, of Cinder Pines. And uh, you see a flash in the skies, which you see first, and then, a, and then a, th a crack of thunder, and you see this ship hurtling towards you. It's one of your ships. They are large, hippo-like people. GIF is what they are oh, called the in GIF. the DID world. The they have attacked... And they outnumbered you. They're ships. They've got, um, they're tough. They're too big and tough for you guys. And so they just pretty easily came in and started conquering. But there's been a resistance, and the resistance seems to be doing a pretty good job, for what you can tell. Um, but this fighter comes, or this fighter, this uh, this this damselfly ship is what your people fly. Comes flying in, and 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 you can see smoke behind it, and it's coming in the crash. And it is hurtling towards you guys and crash lands nearby where you're at in this market. Now, okay. who you all are at this market is we're going to go down the list and we'll explain who everyone is and who your characters are. You each have, I'll put you guys at the board here. Uh, let me summon you. Which one? So I'm summoning you to the board and I've, I've separated you. Each have your groups of four. You can decide who is who on each of these. Uh, of each of these I already people. know what Selmag Axe Turtle's gonna do. So we begin with David. David has Dinesh, the weaver, the half elf weaver in town. Half elf weaver has a weapon of scissors. Scissors in pocket, as weavers always do, just strolling through the market. You've got Dowager, your human farmer, armed with shovel. Uh, you have Azoth. Everyone has um, like an item as well, you got like an oil. Uh, oh, yeah, a Dowager has a goat. Always goes everywhere. Everywhere Dowager goes, he brings his goat. Azoth. Yeah, his name's Zach. <laughs> Azoth. We're not saying last names. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. You have to say the last names. Stop doing that. Don't gloss over these Azoth. incredible last names. Uh, um, uh, he is the town cook, halfling cook. Listen, he's if at, you don't start saying these things. He's at the market, shopping for a new knife. He also has a cast iron skillet. He's got a skillet and a knife in hand. He's got a, got a hammer on his belt. Azoth, Azoth. turf sack. And we've got Cresson. <laughs> Oven blunder. Cresson, which is the local wizard's apprentice. Human. You have a staff. You have a crowbar. And you have a spell book with one cantrip. That you've chosen to be what, David? Oh, uh, Toll the Dead. Toll the Dead. Okay. Uh, Isaac. Uh, you're up next. Isaac, why don't you re tell us who you got? Uh, me reading I got... Anyway. <clears throat> Should let David Gundrothu 
<laughs> Kondrathu Maple Haze. Maple a, Haze. <laughs> a halfling herder. <laughs> Uh, with a crowbar and a flute and a sling. He's got a sling. What got, does he herd? He herds probably David's goat. I don't know. He herds, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, we'll go with sheep. He's a sheep herder. He's a shepherd. Sure, yeah. uh, I got Forest Gravel Phoenix. Maple uh, Hayes. Beggar. Town beggar. Maple Hayes sounds, sounds like he's, he's like growing weed. Yeah, that's the name of his weed train. He's a herder. He's a herder, town herder. Uh, Mr. Gravel Phoenix has a club, flint and steel, and begging bowl. I got Galacito Quick Torch, who is a human blacksmith. Oh, town blacksmith. Crowbar. Uh, what? Your town, the town blacksmith. Yes, I got a torch and a steel helmet, which apparently does not affect his AC. Oh, one hit point. (laughs) <laughs> yeah he's one hit point eight ac <laughs> this guy is gonna be right <laughs> and i got wow uh how much her show dude girl girl casa granite case granite casa we're gonna go with casa granite casa granite, casa granite. it was That's case good. granite <laughs> until you became a wizard's apprentice then it became it casa granita yeah <laughs> And yeah, he's a wizard's apprentice. What spell you have? Uh, fire, firebolt. He's going with firebolt. Okay. Joe, you're up next. Okay. Uh, first one is Hope Lorne Wine Twilight. <laughs> she is an elf. Vintner. Vint- she, Vintner. She's like a, a vine person, uh, a vineyard oh, okay. person. Great. I have pruning shears, a sack, and a jug of wine. <laughs> nice. And then I have Jennery Fire Bronze, a dwarf, maid servant. He's got a carpet beater. Has a club. Oh, okay, yeah. So he's a, like with a, those another character with a sack. Yeah, boof, boof, boof. And yeah. seven delicious pastries. So wow. if we get hungry, yeah. we're good. He was going to be robbing you for some. Uh, then we got Melodine Twig Iron. Who is a halfling maid servant as I well? Both, ser- both the servants are carpet beater. Uh, this one's got a bag of chalk, and <laughs> we have more delicious pastries. So more pastries. all right, <laughs> we are set. Nice. And then we got uh, Melisel grinder sack. <laughs> this one's this one's going out there, man. She's it's the human farmer who's got a pitchfork, so he's ready uh, to stab things. A whistle. Nice. And a goose. Goose. Get, you got the goose character sheet there I sent in there? Who's there? That goose. link worked for you. At the very bottom, there's a link for the goose. I couldn't find a, an easy one to mm. uh, cut out. Did you, your goose stats, which a goose is about as strong as three humans. <laughs> it's untitled okay. goose game goose. <laughs> it's the strongest goose ever. Have you ever walked across, but walked near an angry goose? Seven hit points with a <laughs> goose. <laughs> You guys yeah. be watching out, man. Points. He's worth more than like all of our characters. <laughs> I got a goose, man. Send the goose in first. <laughs> he walks Send in the out. goose. This, this goose, goose don't play games, man. All, all right, Eric. That metal helmet. Let's hear the four that you have. The four brave adventurers. Oh yes, I've got Selmak Axe Dirtle, the Dragonborn Miner. Uh, mm. Let's see. He's got a pick that works as a club. Instead of a using it the wrong way, yeah, using it the wrong way. <laughs> uh, one flask of oil and a gem worth twenty eight gold. Oh wow! He's I don't just think gonna hold the candle to my pastries. He's not even gonna. <laughs> he's not even gonna fight in this. He's just gonna immediately run and live a life on his twenty eight gold. Yeah. Uh, I've got Naminda Cornsalder, a human cobbler. She's got a dagger, a crowbar. And a pair of old shoes. Yeah, town town cobbler. Both of these guys have one HP, by the way. Uh, <laughs> then I've got Oznak Ale Sticky, half orc bowyer, boyer, short bow with five arrows, mm. a bottle of beer huggers whiskey, bear huggers <clears throat> whiskey, sorry, and fifty eight feet of linen string. He's my strongest guy. Three hit points. <laughs> Wow. No, sorry. He's not my strongest guy. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hania, 
Pania Stickyson, the half elf barber, <laughs> with six hit points, baby. Six hit points, man. Wow. Yeah, dude. Plus two attack. Got a straight razor that does 1d4 minus one, uh, an empty flask, and a handful of hair. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> but why? But why? <laughs> hey, Francisco, last four. Okay. Certainly not the least. First four, one. Well. First one, uh, Severe, Xavier, Glass Dark. Xavier. Xavier. It's a halfling scholar. His weapon of choice is a knife as a dagger. He's got a bag of apples. And he comes equipped with a quill pen, ink, and four sheets of paper. And we got Talera Brassberger. And she is the human... Which is apprentice. Um, her weapon is what is it? An at at? I don't know what that at, is. A thing? Athemi? Athemi? Let me see here. Which one is it? The uh, second. Talara Brassberger. So we get some oh, sort of I witch never witch implement. Of... Uh, she has a a hand sized mirror, and a deer heart preserved. <laughs> Very <laughs> important. What is going on here? I... <laughs> Type of dad. Uh, then I got Tiro Turtle Turtle Sticky. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the innkeeper. Yeah. This is like the, probably, you're, you're probably the leader of this pack. Innkeeper. Tiro Turtle. Uh, member of. We'll see. Uh, human innkeeper. Uh, weapon of choice: club, item, sack, and a small cask of beer. And then last but not least, we got Vergus Noodle Brumble. Yeah, that name's too good, dude. Uh, human woodcutter. He has a weapon of a hand axe. He's also got a sack, and he's got some bundle of wood. Okay. Athame, by the way. Athame. What is it? Oh, oh. A it's a, it's a small ceremonial blade. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, Someone in the chat said it. Makes sense. Makes yeah. yeah. Okay, so this uh this this damselfly craft, which you've seen, this is one of the craft that your people, uh, the heroes of your people, have the resistance have begun to create to fight back against the the gif. Um, they their ships are much bigger than yours, and they have some pretty nasty nasty cannons on them. But your your damselfly ships are pretty quick, and so you know they've put in like they. You can't go toe to toe with one of these things, but they're quick and and um, they 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 put a nice thorn in the side. Is, is all their resistance has been trying to do with these guys that are invading your planet? Can you um, send me to the map? Uh, yeah. Um, I just want to say that I read the rules. A damn fly totally could take on one of these ships. All they got to do <laughs> is get close, jump on. <laughs> Yeah, anything can take. Yeah, and it's yeah. like double the speed. So it just spins around. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. You'd never be able to hit them with your cannon on the front of your ship. They just like fly around the back, go back and, and forth, back and forth. Yeah. They turn, go back and go back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the cra the ship lands nearby, and everyone kind of gathers. You guys are at the market today. It's it's Saturday market. Everyone's buying supplies. The cook's out buying himself a knife and and uh, some goat feed or whatever the other one's probably doing. Um, from this damsel fl uh, fly ship. The hatch opens up and you see Ruin. You know Ruin. He's he's uh he's from your town. He was uh, taken away al um, along with all the other able-bodied folks for, um, with the gift at serving the mines or whatever. He apparently's been fighting in the resistance. He's covered in blood. The guy's bloody. Uh, he is uh, horribly uh, maimed. He's still alive though. And he looks at you guys as, as this crowd begins to gather and he says, "They're building a weapon. They mean to kill us all." He says, you got to stop them. They're going to tear this whole planet apart. It's your job now. you got to save us. And he, st and, he goes and he starts to go in and out of consciousness. So he's holding uh -oh. his, his bleeding shoulder. And you can see uh, in he's opened up the... I don't know if my damn little fly ship opened up. I think it has a hatch to the, to the cargo hold. In the cargo hold, you can see there is a dead uh, gif in the cargo hold. That looks pretty maimed what do you want to do does that gif have a gun you gonna go in there and look yeah dude panty a stick a stick okay yeah you you crawl in there and and clearly this this gif has been tortured 
for information. You're not seeing any items on, on the GIF. What about the rest of the ship? The ship is, is, uh, um, you would do a scour around the ship to see if it's, if it's, yeah, uh, scour. looking for equipment. Give me, just give me a perception check. Just give me a d20. I don't think anyone, uh, it's plus wisdom. If you have it. You guys aren't, aren't proficient in anything because you are young, old people. Well, I rolled oh, two, nice. so. Yeah, you've, uh, <laughs> I mean, you've seen these ships fly by every once in a while, but you're just kind of amazed that this thing was, like, ever flying off the ground. You don't know how this works. All you do is. I don't. What are you, a tailor? I'm a barber. Weaver? A barber, yeah. You just cut hair. You don't deal with this. I'm the strongest barber in all the land, dude. So this ship, though, as you scour about, even with your lousy roll, and everyone else can kind of mingle in there, um, it, it's, it's pretty bare, and it seems like they've sort of stripped out a lot of the insides of it to make it fly faster uh, and maybe hold more people. Um, but in the, in, the, in the front bay, the bridge, there's a chair. And um, Rowan, Rowan wait, it start, starts to kind of come back awake. He's not quite dead yet. So if you have any questions for Rowan, you can ask him. <laughs> I'm not quite dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, too bad. Yeah, I, didn't yeah, want, I didn't want to sound like, I, like he was gone. He's still there <laughs> a little bit. He, he's, he, I see him and I think he looks like he's hurting. I'm going to go and cut his throat before he's saying anything else. <laughs> End him quick. Uh, <laughs> what's this guy say? Uh, he'll he'll answer you. He's in a lot of pain. He doesn't he's like just just talking for talking's sake. He hopes oh, he's gotten the point want... across. They're building a weapon. Do I have anything that can help him? They're gonna kill all of us. He says. He looks at. Um, I close your names. He looks at um, the orc, and he says, "Oh God, what was that?" <laughs> that's you. That's you. Yeah. And he says, you gotta, you gotta fly this thing. We don't have time to warn anyone. They're turning an asteroid into a weapon, and you gotta go, you gotta stop them. They're gonna blow the whole planet up. I can do this. I'm the best. I'm the best <laughs> ever. He says, he looks around, he says, you're young. Or you're old. <laughs> you're you're, you're young. feeble, you're no use to anyone. But we need you now. <laughs> on the uh, ale sticky name I shall save the world <laughs> Forrest walks up you got any change <laughs> are you a, are you a beggar <laughs> yeah <laughs> <I'm> a beggar. <laughs> get out of here Forrest nobody <laughs> likes you hold out my beggar my begging bowl the item that I have <laughs> you got any change <laughs> he says your change is no good if you got no planet <laughs> bless you I'm gonna Oh, sweet release. <laughs> I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this guy my, my bottle of bear huggers whiskey. Oh wow. He hit, he takes it and he starts drinking it. Yeah, thanks, this will ease the pain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and as he takes as he takes a second gulp, he passes out and the barrel hits him and rolls down. Oh he's wow. out. Oh he's dead? He's out. He's he's mostly dead. He's gonna be dead pretty soon. If someone has an urgent question, he might be might have an answer for you. But oh, wow. for the most part, he's gonna be dead real soon. Okay, that's fine. He can die. All right. Um, some of you, uh, the innkeeper. Uh, I think that's uh, Isaac's guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, was well, it Francisco, well, Francisco's guy? Oh no, no, yeah. Uh, innkeeper, yeah, yeah, innkeeper knows yeah. this guy. He's um, he uh, he was from this town, and uh, you know, oh, he's he was tough, tough guy. Oh. So. Ter Taru, Ter, yeah, yo, old, old Taro. I don't know why he's saying Taro. We'll say Taro. Well, Taro, Taro. You know what? Taro feels bad, so Taro tries to patch him up. Okay, give me a medicine check. It's wisdom. So what would that be? Uh, D twenty plus one. Wisdom. Okay, plus one. All right. So come on, that twenty. <laughs> 15. Hey, 15 15 okay yeah yeah you managed to like like this blood gushing out of this guy you managed to like to stop some of it not all of it right um who knows what's going on internally and whatever else is wrong with this guy but you've managed to keep him in there for a, a few more minutes maybe uh, maybe an hour if you're lucky unless you get him some immediate attention 
Okay. You gotta not click that thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to help him. If only one of your wizard princesses has taken Goodberry as their count as their. Oh. Is, that a, is that first level? Bummer. That's a first level spell. Okay, yeah. That's not a wizard thing. Wizards can't take that. Uh, any any spell. I didn't care. Oh, okay. Well, that's it for that. Um, Forrest is just gonna go start looking through the ship there for some valuables. No, I, Food. I don't. I, I listen. I kicked Forrest out of here just a minute ago. <laughs> he doesn't care. His planet's gonna end. Gonna <laughs> what are you gonna Forrest do? In the back with an arrow. <laughs> okay. Um, he's, <laughs> he's got four hit points. Let's go. <laughs> he's a sturdy boy. Uh, you don't see any, you don't find any gold in the ship. Um, you do find a uh, a dagger on uh, on Ruin or uh, Rowan. Rowan has a dagger on him. That is that. Well, it's not on him. It's on, up in up near the chair. There's a dagger up there. Um, and there's a, there's a, his there's name a, is Rowan, Rowan, there's a pack. <laughs> it's Rowan bean. <laughs> there's a pack <laughs> with okay. some, uh, with some rations in it. You didn't like that one? That was a good one. Uh, uh I, I don't get it. Mr. Bean. This is for Rowan name. Atkinson. Oh, Atkinson. And he mixed it <laughs> with his name and real name and his fate and his, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're there now. That's so funny. I should explain it. <laughs> The best kind of joke. Yeah, Rowan Blackadder. Blackadder. There yeah, you go. That, that's better. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, well, the uh, let's see. Who do I got here that um, be in a leadership kind of role? <laughs> uh, we'll say the in, herder. In, the herder. <laughs> in, in the one of the cargo rooms uh, near the, uh, in the cargo bay. Let me pull up the ship for you. This will help me too. Um, so you can see where this stuff is. Mostly it's cleared out. And uh, this this ship, so I think Mosquito must have been an old Spelljammer ship. Because that's what I was planning on doing it. But then there wasn't a Mosquito in the new rules. So we're going to use the Damsel to Fly uh, rule sets. But we're, it really looks like a Mosquito. If you guys care. But there you go. Nah. So there is your... Uh... Ooh. There is your ship. Uh, it's actually on land, so we're going to make it. Why does it look it's like that? It's got a that? big spike, just like a mosquito. Is that a mosquito? Yeah, it's a mosquito ship. Dude, this can totally <laughs> the fly, mosquito into the side, ship. fly into the side of the gift <laughs> ship and suck all its guts out. Suck all its energy. Yeah. There you go. Duck all down. its atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It sucks all the atmosphere into the bank. What an interesting design. So it's I two say. decks. I say, guys, I think the best plan of action... Uh, you got, like... It's, like, three oh, decks. Because there's, there's the bridge is up in the front there. Yep. Mm -hmm. The bridge up there, and that's where the <laughs> that's where the chair is. It's a very uh, immaculate chair, and... Uh, Sir, we've got Dolly Parton hailing us on screen. <laughs> where is this chair? <laughs> I'm confused. What is Where's happening? The chair? There's What's a going? screen! There's a screen oh, on the Oh, wow, look at that! <laughs> what screen? What is that? I don't, I don't even oh. see it. Wait. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I see it. That's got to be one of the uh, uh, the cyberpunk things. Yeah. What? Neat. Go look oh, at the wow. look at the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Oh, it is. It's it's playing like the national news, dude. Oh, that's so cool. I, don't know, I think it's Dolly Parton. <laughs> she looks like she just saw Solid Snake, dude. I saw that exclamation point. Why is she freaking out? <laughs> I don't know where the uh, car... How do you get into this ship? Uh, how do you drive this thing, then? So, our characters <laughs> fumble around trying to figure out how to get into the ship. <laughs> you finally clamor on into the ship. It's got three decks. Uh, they're mostly cleared out. One of the... There's not really rooms, but in one of the corners, you also find a... Um, a stash, we'll say, in the back. back I this love way. The... You find a stash of just, like, random parts. Um, some, like, extra fabric to fix your wings, because this thing flaps... Um, there's some some bolts and nuts and things to try to try to patch some things back together. <laughs> okay, but a random bucket of bolts and you're like, huh, the sort in this is gonna be a pain. <laughs> Every time something breaks, you just got a bucket of bolts next to you. And you're just like, you try to thread it in and you're like, nope. Pull out another one. No, <laughs> oh, it's a metric. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I know this pain, that car I'm restoring. What a nightmare it's been. You know what would happen if America switched over to the metric system? Huh. Mass confusion. 
I don't think anything would happen. You know, you know, it'd be fine. Uh, At least someone got the got the joke. Thank you. He got the joke. <laughs> Mass confusion. Mass confusion. God. Um. So you um, you spend some moments rummaging around the uh the the mosquito, and um, it seems to be if anyone wants to make a check, or do a look. Seems so to be may, maybe it'll work. I was about to say this thing isn't that damaged. Then it didn't crash very hard. It kind of crashed it, it onto was, its landing gear. Just it didn't fine. like slam into the ground, but it it was a it was a very teetering landing. Um, the one of the legs is a little snapped to the side. Um, twisted, I suppose is the word. So, Almost as if the pilot were dying. Listen, who needs legs on a? On a <laughs> you on a feel like you could fly this thing just by looking at it. It probably work. You don't know. <laughs> okay. uh, but if it okay. does, it's going to be a little shaky. Gresson is going to go and check and see if the ship is all good, and not nice looking. Okay. I'm going to grab that bucket of bolts and walk around and see if there's anything I can all right. screw well, a bolt into. Pile on the ship. Okay. Uh, give me a. Uh, it's just an intelligence check. Intelligence. Yeah. Okay. I want you to when you give me names, say Gresson the what, so I know who this person is. <laughs> All right, Sorry. I'm going to tell oh. you what. Man, Aggressive oven, blood smart. Blunder, <laughs> oven blunder. Aggressive oven blunder. Aggressive oven blunder. He's yeah. going to try to fix the ship. Okay. He's got a plus one uh, intelligence. Oh, look at that. 17. You, what were you looking for, uh, David? Chicken team, this is flyable. So you... Um, what kind of damage? You've heard stories of these chairs and that these chairs like link with you somehow. And you can't, you're not even sure if it works going to work unless until you sit and try it out. He's looking okay. at it, trying to see if it works. And uh, my orc guy that said he was going to save the world, Osnak Ale Sticky, is just going to sit down in the chair. Okay. So as soon as you sit down, I need you to make me a, um, I know this isn't a real normal roll, but make me a constitution save. Okay. As the chair comes alive and integrates you into its system. I didn't roll well. Bye. Okay. <laughs> you die. That's one gone. Let's go. Um, right. you, you, hey, um, you done. The chair begins, as you sit down, you feel this tingling, tingling sensation running all the way, starting from your legs, running up your body, into your arms, and into your head, and this, this pain goes into your head as this all this, this information just slams into you. You don't take any, any damage, but you're very, like... Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed and confused. Like you can like you can see your legs, but you also can see outside the ship and you can see these people walking in the ship and they almost like they're walking you can feel them walking on you. Um oh, you nice. can feel the breeze outside. You have this like sense, two senses on, and it's very, very confusing. You're gonna have disadvantage for a while until you can get acquainted to what's going on here. But after you have connected yourself, you feel like it it, it would listen to you if you wish to for it to move almost like you're almost like you're talking to it mentally are are we all on this ship um yeah everyone's everyone's clamored aboard uh Rowan in his dying breath says um that weapon it's an asteroid they're doing something with an asteroid they're gonna tear us apart you gotta go now no time to dilly ah! and he dies <laughs> all right well I uh I take a look. I take one last look at uh, Dolly Parton on the TV, <laughs> <laughs> and I decide to take off. Okay, so uh, again, you you get the sensation running through your body, and, and everyone feels uh, the ship begins to lift. It's real shaky. Oh. The floor plates are starting to rattle. Um, it's coughing and sputtering a little bit from wherever the exhaust pipe is on a Spelljammer ship. Uh, no exhaust pipes. <laughs> These things are green, dude. It's, uh, <laughs> the wing, the wings are flapping. They, they begin slowly flapping, oh. and they get faster and faster and faster. And this thing starts to lift up off the ground. Yeah, flap yeah, cool away. Guy, right. This is an ornithopter, dude. It is. Well, like I guess it sort. Of, I guess it sort of is because it uses wings. So I guess that. I suppose that counts, right? That is. Yeah. Uh, is is an ornithopter a specific design, or is it any flying machine with wings? I mean, they uh, look like. I mean, in they Dune, look like, uh, the ornithopter is like that big. Like dragonfly, it looks like a dragonfly. Yeah. What about the ones? Yeah. That's what well, the ones with like the spirally, spinny thing. You seen those? What you mean, like a Da Vinci helicopter? Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's an the, ornithopter. The, the ornithopter? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I so, so you begin to fly up into the sky, 
and um, from in your chair, you you can see the the ground giving way. Uh, okay. There's there's a few kids and and uh, and grandmas and things that are waving by from the ground, throwing some flowers out, uh, wishing you the best. And actually, as this right. thing yeah. climbs, you begin to leave the atmosphere, or the the what's the word? I forget that I can spell more word. Leave the realm of not the realm. Yeah. You, you get out in space. I don't know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> you get out in space. I, I put I put all the spell jamming terms in in like lock and key in my mind, so I never had to think about it again. But here we are. So uh, um, you are in anything that flies both wings. No, oh, okay. And Da Vinci's corkscrew thing does count. It's on the Wikipedia ah, article for okay. ornithopter. So so a plane is also it has wings. No flapping wings. Oh, like flapping moving. Wings. Yeah, flappy wings that flies by flapping its wings. So uh, you you emerge into the blackness of space, and um, who's in the chair? What's his name? Uh, his name is Oznak Alesticky. Oznak. Um, the first thing you notice in space is you guys start to leave your planet. You never thought you'd see your your planet from this point of view, but uh, it's not quite like round shaped. You are on a large asteroid, almost a dwarf planet type of with its own atmosphere and you can see other asteroids that are reasonably close to you as you I thought leave. you were about to say our planet is a disc with an ice ball <laughs> around the outside leave, <laughs> you leave your your planet uh and as you uh fly up you can see flashes of light uh to the uh uh how do i say directions um for sure. starboard <laughs> that way you see flashes of light as there's a battle going on and so let me get a, a spell jammer question real quick the the spell jammer is aware of what's happening at the ship is he aware of what's happening outside the ship is he like sensors or is that people looking he's just aware of what's happening on the ship and it, just surrounding right he doesn't really say it, it says happening. that well it says that when you're like you could potentially be aware of what's going on outside yeah. as it says that if when you're flying at high speeds or whatever you would you would come out and already have an idea of what's going on if you were to yeah. run into something. Okay, we're gonna say you've got a lookout. Whoever wants to volunteer for this can have this. And you see flashes of light out uh, for starboard. I don't know what the words are for that. Um, and uh, there is a battle going on, and you can see it's one of these large GIF ships, and it's in combat with one of your one of your mosquito ships buzzing buzzing around it as this thing is blasting <laughs> and that cannon on that gift ship is just like a boom and it's blasting into this thing oh, doesn't man. look good for your friends Ooh, ooh. They're like bam ten thousand you know gold. we could just go start a colony somewhere else <laughs> yeah that's a, you know i was really thinking about this i got this gym we're 28 gold i think we can go start somewhere new <laughs> we're 28 gold you get out in the, in the space and you start a colony and you you look and you're like that asteroid is full of these gems. These gems are worthless now. Because there's so much because yeah. there's so much out there in space now. Unless they the new colony that we found doesn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. This I you know on a new colony this thing could be worth 10,000 gold. <laughs> that's right. Artificial supply and demand. If we can yeah, if, I, if I go far enough away, no one will even know what this kind of gem is, uh... dude. <laughs> okay, what do you want to do? I think we're supposed to go attack that ship or something. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go do what our guys couldn't do, which is get up next to these guys and jump on the ship and fight them. Okay, so you begin making your way that direction. Do you want to like go fast to try to save your friends because they are getting whooped, or do you want to like take it easy because you're a little no? I'm assuming I don't confused. know how. I don't know how to fight, and I don't know how to fly this. No, ship everything very well. everything is apparent to you, and you feel like this is just sort of an extension of your mind. So you All right, well. I have this giant spike on the front of my ship, right? Uh, not a ramming spike. Uh oh. Using the stats of the damn straw. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a straw. <laughs> it's a straw. Yeah. It's just there, just there for looks. So I can suck in all the space water. Yep. Uh, the space blood. I need to look up a damn. Oh yeah, fly. it's an it's a it's a scoop, so you can buzz by a it's gas a giant. Scoop. <laughs> so I can get space honey from space. <laughs> space honey. 
Damselfly, Spelljammer. All right, let's. You got 19 people standing around the chair, staring at you, wondering what's he gonna do. <laughs> We're just sort of just sitting here, and there's <laughs> Sorry, a battle going I, on. I know. I'm look. <laughs> I, I'm flying towards it, but I'm also trying to look up to see what this ship does. <laughs> Maybe you should have let me off first. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest, you got into your your own volition. That wasn't Forrest. <laughs> that was too else. many characters. Too many characters. Don't you worry. We're just gonna. We'll fix that in a second. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fly this thing right up to this. We're gonna jump over and start killing these guys. Okay. Fly uh just straight there. No no urgency or. No, as fast as I can. Caution. Oh, hey, give me a give me a, a Constitution check as you are trying to will this ship forward. I willed mm -hmm. it all the way to space. Twelve. Okay, so you are like you're over there squinting and grimacing, but the ship doesn't seem to be going any faster. It's you really. Oh, actually, roll, roll again because you have disadvantage. Oh, because you are overwhelmed by this sensation. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, um, y as you you the ship begins to flap. You hear a snap. Um, and it does not go any faster. It continues to move as it is. And as it's going, uh, um, the, uh, I'm going to say, um, Z Zavir, the scholar, the, I guess he's a kid, a student. He's looking out and he sees the wing, like, snap and start flapping as the fabric is starting to get torn on it. As he was trying to go too fast. He's trying to push it too hard. So you, you start heading that way there. You're not going any faster than you were before. You're not going any slower, though, either. But your ship is starting to fall apart. Um, as you get, um, I should say, on the ship, you have a... Where's my, my... I got my rolls up here. We have one big gun, right? Yeah, yeah. You have a mangonel, and you have some ballistas on this thing. Um, <sighs> it's really it's really unfortunate that the fabric of our wings got broken by the lack of air. <laughs> Well, maybe you should fly better. <laughs> You're flapping in space, it's just so hard. I'm gonna have so uh, Melisel and uh, Jennery go to two of the ballistas. Okay, you got two ballistas, oh. and you've got uh, you guys are following the uh, the damsel fly ship, right? That's your rules. Yeah. Um, up ahead, you see this ship, and it's got the ship that the the GIF fly have this big gun on the front of it to bombard. Um. And as you get to ride, as you get to about range, you may go ahead and start a firing away. Whoever wants to man those those guns. Uh, right. How and, many people does it take to man the ballista? It takes three for each ballista, I think. Okay, uh, so yeah. three will go to one of... Uh, all four of mine are going to go to one. Okay. Azoth is going to go to the... All, all my guys are going to go to the big gun. Okay. Yeah, you need four of them on the big... On the big uh, <clears throat> my goose is going to aim... Three of mine are going to go to the other ballista, not uh, Forrest. Forrest okay. is going to continue to stare at the Cuts. person piloting the ship. <laughs> okay. And who? what's the name of the person piloting the ship? Uh, Osnak Ale Sticky. So Osnak is, is you notice as you're looking at Osnak, he's got a little bit of blood coming out of his nose. As he is, I would give you like a hit point of damage, but I know that would kill a bunch of you. So I'm not going to give you any damage. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you are just in real bad shape as you're trying to manage this thing. But it's just so much going on in your head, and you're not used to this. You, um, what's who is Osnak? You Osnak. just you just make bows. You don't fly yeah. spaceships. So you're starting to get a little blood coming out of your nose. Listen, a spaceship um, is like a, just a big bow. <laughs> <laughs> you're flying just straight at this thing and uh you you see th your friend your friendly ship is whooped uh one of the wings has been blown off and is getting destroyed by this bombard uh the, 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 uh, the damage your ship's been doing some decent damage to this guy there's some ballista pelts in the bombard but you you are just now entering range go ahead and make your attack those that are manning these things uh, well, uh what's what do you add to it all right yeah it is a plus six to hit and you do 3d10 damage. What about the, uh, the, stats don't the matter. super big gun? No, stats don't matter. Uh, plus, okay. um, plus 6, David, and you're doing 16. 21 to hit? Uh, 21 hits. What was Heck the yeah. dice roll? 3d10. I'm going to write this down. Oh. 11 for the big gun. Boom! Ooh! Twenty for a twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-three. Yeah, yeah, I hit him for twenty-three, and Joe hit him I, for ten. Okay, so the ten you see the ballista hits it and just bounces off of the side of the ship. 
23, though, you see that ballista go pew and go straight through the, the wooden hole of this thing. Nice. The big gun had gotten 11. An 11 attack? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you you fling that manga now and it goes flying through space. What you were doing is you were planning for gravity, like the rule book does, <laughs> but that's ridiculous. And so it just flies <laughs> straight out there. Gravity in space. Um, could, you know yeah, what? Just get it nearby and gravity will pull it in. Good, like, good <laughs> night. He, he flings it and then the ship starts moving backwards because reaction, opposite reaction, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> couldn't I just uh couldn't I just like start going hundred million miles an hour and like break the ship in half like they did in that crappy Star Wars movie? <laughs> Warp speed, ramming speed. Yeah. Okay, Warp so um that is your turn. On their turn, uh they are going to you'll see you see this this big gun, almost like a looks like a, like a face of a dragon on the front of this ship. We'll say it's the face of a hippo because they're hippo people. Um, and you see this this green glow starts to form in the front of this cannon of theirs. And with that, they fire a shot. And, and oh, oh! boom, it goes wide. It does not hit your friends. Oh, man. Um, but they also fire a couple of ballista. I'm going to roll it this way. Um, and they miss. So they are, you live in the fight another day. You got a few more turns before you can even get within a melee range of this. So you can go ahead and go again. Take another shot at this guy. Oh, yeah. Do it. Load again. I'm trying oh, there we go. Guys. 16, 16, 16 to hit a 15. Ooh, oh, hit goodness. it. I got him. Okay. Well. So if you right, have 15, was then, then do your damage. 3d10 for Ballista and 16d10 for David. It, or no, not sorry. 16? I know, no, I did it wrong. Um, That's a ton. How was five, That's five, a 5d10, five oh David. 5d10. Oh, man. Five? Okay. Eight more damage from my Ballista. Okay, the Ballista again. Point, 19. Just bounces off the side of it. <laughs> 23. Oh. Um, what's my threshold? Wow, Isaac's Ballista did almost as much as the Manganel with like. <laughs> How much did you do, Isaac? 19. Okay, so again, you the ballista goes in and slams off the side of it and bounces off. Does not damage it. Nineteen is not enough for threshold. Nope. <laughs> so, um, one more shot with this guy, and you see what that about cannon. The manga now? Did that do damage? Yeah, it did. Okay. Uh, this cannon is warming up and firing a shot, and I'm firing my laser. This is crazy how much damage this is. So, um. The shot, yes, you see he yeah. slowly eases the, the gift, slowly eases the thing in front of the, the dude, your damsel five friend, and he's puttering around. And he can't get away from the front of this big cannon. And in comes the damage. Oh, oh my God. And this thing just boom. And Look then at they, all those tins. All your friends, you hear them through, this, through space, you hear them screaming. It's impossible, but it happens here. <laughs> And you see because their atmosphere it disperses to us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they are you see them flying off the, the sides of this thing. Oh wow! The ship fluttering around like a moth, and like <laughs> it's lighting up, and they're like, "Ooh!" <laughs> Float towards it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, after they fire that, they're gonna they they fire a couple of bullets in it as well, just to make sure they get the two or, or the two of the people that are flying out. And then the ship begins to turn to you. Your turn again. You've got about oh four. man. You got well, they have three rounds. This is three until you can get there. So you got two more after this okay, before you can I get there in range. Towards me. If you want, you can try again to boost this thing to, get, to cut a round off. But there's a chance you're gonna take a hit point damage. Can I? Can I maneuver? Can I like uh like try to like veer to keep the big cannon from pointing at us? Yeah, give me a con. It's all con con check. Yes. Disadvantage. Okay. Because you are not connected well. You have a bad connection. Well. It's going to be bad, so. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you don't take any damage, but you do not get it to do what you want it to do. Okay. Well, at least we're not like... Or wait, are we moving around like a moth? Just like... <laughs> uh, yeah, because one of your wings is, is a little torn, and and so you're kind of flapping and trying trying to just go straight at this guy. <laughs> Forrest looks down and says, I think you may have killed us all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make me those Shut attacks. Up, <laughs> Give me your change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ooh, there's a hit. That one's not. Neither is Ooh. that. So okay. one hit. The Manganel. Twenty-seven. Ooh, there you hey. go. Twenty-seven. 
Okay. So yeah, you got three good Manganel shots into this guy. Nice. He turns, and he gets you lined up. He's going to roll to attack. You see that cannon on the front glowing. Actually, you know what? We'll do the two ballista first. Not that they really matter. He's about to kill us all right here. Here comes the big cannon. It's a green glow as this big hippo mouth is faced at your ship. And your pilot is just... Just flying straight towards the light. <coughs> oh, oh, one. oh. <laughs> I don't know what's doing. Oh man! It blows up their so own ship. You see, yep. um, it backfires. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> Perfect. Wow, guys, we did it. We did it. So okay. We did it. We can do that. <laughs> so this thing lights up, but then all of a sudden you see this flash of light from behind, from inside their ship. And then fires go flying out the sides of the portholes. And you hear some screams of hippos as they take a lot of damage. Yeah. What does a scream of a hippo sound like? Same as a wounded giraffe. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is your turn again. They they still have you. The, the gun is still working. It fired the wrong way. Um, right. I'm gonna, but they I'm still gonna have you maneuver. lined up. Here's my disadvantage for... Uh... Oh. oh, so close. <laughs> you thought you had it, but then Ugh. it was an illusion. And and again, you cannot get this thing to go where you want it to go. Fire away. Ballista boys. Uh, oh, yeah. man, that manganel. Oh, crap. Nice, nice, nice. Dang, son. Yeah, yeah that's all hits, that's dude. All hits. Yep. 25. 25. 16. Oh, 16. Wait, no, that counts, doesn't it? No, it's at least 20. Ah. Uh, so the ballista do nothing this time. I was about to say, the ballista do nothing most of the time. So another Manganel so hit slams into the side. And, or the front. Um, on the front, yeah, you're right, on the front. Uh, this is its last turn before you guys are going to be in range. Um, it's starting to back up a little bit. It doesn't want you to get to, to board it. Um, mm, yeah. And you see a couple of hippos come up. And they've got guns in hand, and they're getting ready. They're ready for you to come over and board them, because they know the tactic. But you see that that hippo start to glow. Yeah. And here it comes. Oh, and it blasts, and it goes wide <laughs> off into space. And you hear. Not you even can, trying to hit us. You but... can hear the captain shouting. <laughs> That's a thousand gold a shot. <laughs> <laughs> How have these guys taken over our planet? <laughs> I know. <laughs> they can't hit us at all. Because because we're just getting lucky. The other ship got absolutely yeah. annihilated <laughs> in one shot. Okay, so this is your final turn. You can either fire away or you can ready your actions and then jump over there as soon as you make contact just, with like, them. Skim the bottom of the ship across oh, my, the deck of their ship. <laughs> my my guys, four of my guys are gonna get ready to jump over. Ready to jump? Okay. And I, yeah, they're uh, bloodthirsty can i shoot I guess the shoot. ballista at those two gif or at one of them uh yeah they're gonna have cover so they're you're gonna have they'll give i'm gonna give them plus two okay i'm gonna shoot at them i'll i'll do that as well i'll shoot okay. at the, at that the, is a, that's individual. a smart one come on come on lee come on lee Ooh, that's a, that's 28 a oh! yeah that's a hit oh. where's my gif at there he is nice hey ah! come on big roll no oh. That gift's like that gift caught it with his teeth. <laughs> yeah. Like oh. he, he gets hit with an. He gets fired at the oh, same no. one or different ones. And he just like. Okay. Uh, I mean, I would imagine we were firing at different ones okay. if we're on different sides of the ship. Three, two, uh, one. Left or right? You front. ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Left. Left. Okay. Left. It was left. How, much, how much damage was it all together? Sixteen. Sixteen total. Yep. Okay, so yeah, two ballista. <laughs> whack whack. And he I'm gets knocked over, and you see him scramble back. We'll say he's prone for this this round, though, because it seems like it seems like a ballista. Him, he's like, I'm okay. Yeah, 16 yeah, damage. You can hit someone with a long throw harder that than that. Like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that are like 10 foot long. I'm starting to find some flaws in in this uh, system. <laughs> it's okay. We'll 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 go with it. Is there oh, not... just now? Just now you're finding flaws. I, I do have oh, a question. Good. Are we not supposed to add plus six to the damage as well, or is that just to hit? Uh, if it's a normal normal ballista, there's no pluses to damage. Okay, because uh, well, there's why is there a, okay? It does seem say, kind of, it does seem really silly though. Add like two, three more d10s since you're hitting a person. We'll just double the damage. It's okay, huge. Well, we're, you gotta change maps. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hang on, I gotta move your ship a little closer. 
Do I need to roll to make sure we don't crash right into the front of them? Uh, yeah, go ahead. That's what I wanted you to say. <laughs> Eric's like, give me the nat one so we can just. Do you want to pull up beside it? Do you want to? Do you want to go in front of it? I'm trying to pull up. You want to back into it? Boop, boop. No, I'm not gonna flip the whole ship around and back in. I can barely fly it straight. <laughs> what makes you think I'm gonna try that? Go in um, like back around. <laughs> yeah, I want to put my back in perfectly. He's like, what were you doing the whole time before this? <laughs> I like do that. It's like the parallel parking where they drift into the spot, <laughs> like a glove, <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> oh, okay. This isn't what I meant, but yeah, sure, Whoa. dude. I'm gonna suck the life right out of that shit. Well, I haven't, I haven't oh, placed oh him yet. I haven't placed him yet. Oh, okay. I have, but I'll I'll fix it in a second. So three three more D tens for the ballista. Dang, did you build this cannon? What? No, no, this is someone else built this. Oh, that's wild. It's like built out of jet engines or something. That's freaking cool <laughs> as heck. Dude. Nine more. Uh, hey, two more. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, nice. looks like I got some nice. uh, I took some of your wing with me. That's all right. Um, One of them was messed up anyways. Twenty seven. Uh, on top of the 16. 27 on top of it? Yeah. Okay, okay. So then that guy, he takes one bullet to the chest, and the other one comes in, and he goes flying Ooh. backwards. Ooh. And, um... <clears throat> Got him. He seems... <laughs> you were about to one punch, man. I'm like the big yeah. mosquito monster from that. Okay, so give me a roll to see how you how you do this. If you want to go up beside the guy, or... Beside you, the guy is my you, goal. You're going to go upside? Okay. Give me that roll. <laughs> yeah, you try to, but you just cannot get this thing to to listen to you. And so we're gonna give you a, like a little bit to the side. You started to, and it ended up be going perfect. right about there. And you kind of uh, hit the hole a little bit. Okay, so those yeah. of you who are, let me get your characters out here. Uh, there's like a billion of them, so I'm like, give me a second. Um, I don't know <laughs> who's. Are... Won't my ship just crash into his ship naturally because his ship has more gravity than mine, or whatever? We're not following those dumb rules. <laughs> <laughs> what rules are we following exactly? Yeah, <laughs> we're winging it. The ones that are made up. Yeah, yeah. we're totally winging these rules. We right play D and D enough. We know how to. We know how D twenties work. That's yeah, we're doing this. Uh, this guy. So you're gonna have to get your guys and just kind of put them wherever you want to put them. Okay. I don't know if everyone. If this is everyone, I think it is. I'm missing. Oh uh, yeah, not oh, quite. There not is. quite there yet. I believe I'm missing one. I have a few still. Okay, so there's everybody. Um, put your guy that's in the hole in the um, that's steering in the spot. Okay, uh, on the inside or on top? Inside on the, on the chair. Okay, well, my guy, my beggar, was watching him. So yep, just put him in in there. Get some, let me get some music in here. Yes. I gotta get him in there. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Which is gonna be hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, Shift oh wow. Shift-click and then move the green bar down. Wow. Yeah, I'm trying to move the green bar down right now. Where are the ballistae? Uh, we're gonna say they're, they're at the front here. Uh, the mangonel is like the very front, so the ballista will say are like... Um... We'll put them on the edge, on the ends here, in front of the wings. Okay. Which so side are you going? Right, I'll take that. Okay. Um, we need a good. Oh um, no. Good, good gift. Well, mine were ready to jump over. Oh god, here. All right, now he's in the chair. Nice. Man, your beggar is dressed really nice. Look at him. It was the beggariest guy of them all, so that's the one it's like. I would rather have Rook. Rook is, Rook is a perfect beggar. <laughs> Your guy, um, who has this him. guy that's in here with me, is the beggar. The guy in like the nice black yeah, cloak with the gold commoner. trim and like yeah. the. That's the, the, the guy you picked as the beggar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he. That's why no I'm one gives him right any for money myself, because, you know? <laughs> because everyone's like, I'm not giving you any money, Forrest. Your clothes are ten times nicer than everything I own. <laughs> But how will I afford my brandy? <laughs> yeah, so these these are the gif. Well, there's the one gif you see, the bears. Oh, no. This guy is down. So he's ready to, ready to repel invaders. Uh, so 
Um, you guys go ahead. Those of you who have who did not fire the ballista or the mangonels, you may go ahead and do your turn. I gotta say, guys, the only guy we have that has a ranged weapon is the one flying the ship. <laughs> That's not true. We got two people with cantrips. I got a oh, goose, nice. man. I got a goose. Oh yes, and that goose. Oh yeah, the goose. <laughs> I'll give you the the people yeah, for the that. Goose. Um, and the goat. Didn't oh yeah, my goat. goat. Oh, one of my guys has a sling as well. So there's a goose. Oh nice. And who owns the goose? Use a sling. Joe. I do. I thought there was a goat in here. I don't see. Yeah, one. my goat. That's oh, my yeah, goat. That How strong's the goat? Uh, he's actually pretty decent. He's goat simulator goat. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, practically. Just stick your tongue to things. It'll be fine. Yeah. So goat is David's, and the goose. Yeah. Goat simulator three coming out, dude. Sheesh. He's got a plus one. He got a plus one strength. Joe's. Okay, there you go. Give that goose, boy. This man is wise. Look at that goose, dude. He's huge, dude. That's how big <laughs> That's why goose. he's so strong, dude. He's yeah, like... dude. He's a chonker's goose. Get us world record largest goose. Oh, wow. He looks angry, too, dude. You know, if I was a gif, I'd, be, I'd run away from a goose. <laughs> I, run I don't away think hippos goose. do run away from geese. <laughs> do they not? <laughs> I don't think so. Has there ever been an inner... Like, is there a lot of geese near hippos? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there are in zoos. Oh yeah, zoos. Yeah, I guess it's a zoo. Okay, so if you're if you have not if you didn't spend your turn firing weapons or managing weapons, then do your boarding action. You only see one of these um, these gif, which is a big hippo man, up on the front here. That's it. Okay. Um, what if, is this, are gif a bit large? No, they're. I don't medium. think so. They're medium. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, jumping on. Large. I don't think there's any PC. They're that's like large. they're like large build. They're like a. Um, like Goliath or Goliath and whatever. Fearbolg. Yeah. <clears throat> um This this gif you see he's got a he's got a cutlass on his hip. He's holding a pistol in his hand. Okay. Um I'm bored, baby. He has some he has um a bobble. Uh a, a spherical bobble on his other hip. Okay. A bobble. It's a grenade. You are any of these do not know what grenades are. It's just are they, a, like, a ball for contact juggling. Who's this? How'd you get over yeah, there? Yeah, contact <laughs> juggling. <laughs> who's who's like... that character there? Who? That's uh, uh, that is... that's me. How'd you get over there? I jumped, dude. What are you talking about? I'll put him right here. How's that? I just set him there to have somewhere to put him. Okay. Okay. So if you have if you have time, if you have actions, swing away. Yeah, just I mean, if you just jump. Yes. The gravity well will pull you towards it. Oh, yeah, that's you, right. That's yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, go for it. Um, like you've been doing this your whole your life. You you just jump and then you get caught and you get sucked over to that dude, side. The little the little the little guy with the sickle. No, actually, I need to move him. He's At the bigger. moment, however, your ship has more hit points than theirs, so I believe actually you. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Is it work by hit points? Is that how it actually works? Yeah. I thought it was by size of ship, but whatever. The size, I think, is for the atmosphere. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so if they had stinky air, it would make our air stinky. Mm -hmm. And there's it's a lot of there is a lot air. of smoke in the air on this side because of that cannon when I mean, it blew up on their ship. So it's pretty hazy around here. Let me give you the effect of haze. Why don't I? Haze in space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> space haze. Space haze. <laughs> that's there another. That's another one of my strains that you were working on. <laughs> the herder. Space haze. Yeah. Okay, so if you can go for an that. attack. All right, dude. All right. Pania Sticky Sin is gonna hit this guy with a straight razor. Okay. Yes. The my no, woodcutter is Pania. gonna hit. Oh, swing and a miss. Yep. Yeah. 10. 10 is a miss. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Uh, this guy does not seem to have... I don't think he doesn't have any armor. He's just wearing like no. a... A puffy, oh. a puffy shirt. A fumble. Wearing a puffy shirt and... Pirate doodads. Well, last that's one, it for dude. me. This is my last guy. <gasps> okay. Uh, who made that Who made that fumble? Me. Okay, me, give me a... Um, give me a dex roll. D20. Okay. You want to take that 14? Uh, 11, 10. Okay, which one? What, who threw it? Or who who did what? Naminda Corn Solver. Which, which person? Okay, so you go... What are you trying to hit with a, with a, a straight blade? 
No, dagger. She dagger. So you go dagger. to try to stab with the dagger, and the, the gif blocks your arm, and you lose grip of the dagger. And it goes f goes flying. Well, normally wouldn't be a problem, but it escapes. It goes out into, <laughs> into space. It goes out. It goes He's out. got a crowbar still. <laughs> so, so you throw okay. it, and it gets caught outside. And woo, out into space. He threw it so hard, it's orbiting the ship. <laughs> Did he hit my wrist hard enough to do one damage? That would be unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> he blocks it out of my wrist, and I go. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> man. Did, did nobody damage him? Nope. No. Nope. He's about yeah. to start tearing through okay. us. <laughs> okay. He 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 lets out a a big grunt, a hippo grunt, and he looks at this whoever this is over here. Oh. Man, he and. He's going to put the musket right to her chest. No! Disadvantage. Pettier. And fire away. He doesn't have disadvantage. He doesn't have he's disadvantage because he's a gif. He's a gif. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was just the re, the reload. So he didn't have the disadvantage on the shooting either. I don't remember. Actually. I don't remember. I remember him being really dumb. <laughs> uh, it says I, it I think he does actually have it. I don't he, think he has a disadvantage. He can shoot. No, no, no. He doesn't have disadvantage on shooting at the long range of weapons. That's what he does. He have. ignores the loading property. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to put it into her chest and fire away. Boom! I'm dead. Uh, I'm not even gonna roll it. Dead. Here's my strongest one. Well, maybe. Do you have how many hit points? Do you have a few? A <laughs> few. Okay, you take no, not that many. <laughs> seven points of damage as this musket no! boom goes off into your chest. I had six. Oh man, that was the big one. Okay. <laughs> So he fires that, and with his bonus action, he pulls out his cutlass and goes to swing on um, this guy right here to the left. Uh, you are dead. Pania is dead. Goes to swing at uh, this one with his long sword. Ah, uh, okay. And he's gonna hit. Oh yes, he man, is. he's um, dead. You don't even have to do anything. He okay, he slices right through. Who was that? Uh, I don't remember. I just closed it. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, so that's his turn, and he, he grunts oh, some man. more, and he says, What are you, the feeble young and old? <laughs> and from down the way, Here. you see a door open, and out steps... The king of the jiff. Two more. <laughs> Rushing in. I tell you what, you know what I can still do? Wait, is the ship movement already done this turn? Yeah, yeah. That this this is the end of that first oh, okay. of that turn. So now it's their turn. Um, they are going to. Oh, that, that was that. So they, these guys are going to move uh, that way. So now it's now it's your turn. Sorry, I'm okay. confused myself. Uh, can so I now now everyone can go. All right, I'm um, going to shoot the big gun. Let's, in my let's do the ship moving first because that's what we've been doing all along. So I don't get confused. So what listen, do you want to do? Listen, man. Osnak Alesticky is looking through his window that he has, and he sees all of his friends dying, and he's going to try to turn this thing hard left. He doesn't right see anything, because they're above him, so he just, maybe you hear them Well, he feels, he feels, he feels, oh feels yeah, you can sense it. You sense their death. I sense their death, and I, I get sad, I'm going to try to crash the ship into theirs. <laughs> I get sad. You've already, you like, that's what you did last time, is you kind of docked with it, so you can't, um, Am I docking? I feel like I'm still moving. You, like, you slowed, you slowed to allow boarding. Oh, well, balls. I guess. And I can't you've kind really of you've kind of attached yourself with the gravity of it. The gravity of the situation is taken over. Uh, do we even need someone in this spell jamming ship anymore? Uh, I'd prefer that we don't abandon it. I have some plans. If you want to use your action to like, <laughs> plans. um, to 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 move, if you want to use your action. You can move the ship away, but as of right now, you are basically attached. Oh. Well, I can't do anything then. I was going to try to like move it forward and do some more damage, but I guess I can't. So ignore these rolls. I can, he's not going to do anything. Okay. These are when I roll good. Nope, I didn't. Nope. Ah. <laughs> okay. So my uh, my beggar spent last turn running up to the deck. Okay. And he's going to take over for Goral. Girl. So he's these three are still going to fire the ballista. Girl. Goral. Uh, they're gonna fire the ballista. His name's yeah. Girl. Girl. <laughs> uh, they're going to fire uh, this dude with a ballista. Okay. He's really just got that uh, goofy accent. Gorsh. Gorsh. <laughs> Gorsh. Uh, plus. That's a hit. You said plus six? Okay. Yeah. And then 60 10? 
Uh, yeah, sixty ten for, for, for people. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh man! So yeah, he takes it to the chest. Uh, he does not die, but he falls down with that. The the, the force of that shot. And Goral is gonna walk over here and Slinger. firebolt that this guy here. Firebolt. Okay. He has uh, right. not been hit yet. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> Firebolt. Holy cow. Oh, man. Quadruple damage. Oh! oh it's even what? better than the ballista! <laughs> oh, Just man. kidding, it sucks. <laughs> Is that it? 13 damage? Yep. Hey. This guy gets blasted in the back, and he lets out a, another hippo growl, and he looks up at you, Ooh. and he points. As he looks, at, my three are going to blast him with the, <laughs> with the, yeah, the ballista. ballista. Okay. Do you going to hit the guy in the front here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Not a natural 20, but The goose got him. The goose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the goose is about the to. The, bo- the goose is going to be doing some work here in a second. Oh, oh die, man. man. <laughs> Kabang. Yeah, he gets blasted in the back. He's nice. He starts the point, and the finger goes th- the barrel goes through his finger <laughs> into his chest. And wow. he goes down. My, can you make my goose fly? Listen, man, it's like, uh, an yeah. arrow, it's like an arrow in an arrow, Robin Hood. He's pointing the finger, and the arrow just goes <laughs> right oh, up look his at arm. That. He split the arrow. <laughs> yeah. Splits his arm like a banana. My goose is going to fly over here. That goose is cooked. Uh, are these guys... Uh, which ones are hippos? All these guys? Uh, oh, the there's just the, the two bears in the back. Oh, uh, okay. Those are all your those, your. those are your teammates. Okay. Uh, oh, good ship. Lollipop. I will have my <laughs> goose handler start following. Goose handler. <laughs> goose <laughs> wrangler. What's our goose wrangler? <laughs> He jumps off the top and does a, a gentle front flip as he floats slowly down to the deck of the enemy ship. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Go down. Yeah. Ooh, I'm struggling with this. Uh, 3D combat. 3D yeah, he, combat. he's just going to start making his way down there, I guess. Okay. Is this 3D? How do this, I get out there? Everyone starts. So everyone else, go ahead and you go ahead and move. Shift, you don't need to wait just for move. turns. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna There's move. Too then. many of us to deal with. Uh, trying to keep track of all of it. Joe. Oh, oops. Everyone, uh-huh. thirty foot movement for everyone. Oh, okay. Then. You, just, you oh. can just use your uh, use those lines. Yeah, shift click and then move them out. Are you trying to get the goose or the? Did you get it? No, I'm just trying to get the guy. Yeah, the guy's go down. Okay. okay, that's just. I'll move there, or at least my people do. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the big gun. What? The mangonel? At the, at the, yep. at the bear? Uh. Yeah, at this bear. Do it. Okay. Kill it. Yeah. Do it. This bear? I want to yes. shoot it at this like, at the captain's quarters. Oh man. Well, do it. I want to do that. <laughs> okay. Roll that attack. You guys are fighting, uh, and you hear this. <laughs> goat 01 the goat has missed. Goat 01. <laughs> What's your plus, plus six, uh, right? It's plus, oh, plus six? Is that what you are? Oh, no, still doesn't. Mango it's it's 14. Plus five. No, no, he didn't hit. So you fired your shot, but you're just too close. Uh, and he went flying over. Okay. Well, that's the turn, then. Okay, anyone else? Is that everybody? Turn this fog yep. down. It's a little much. All right, that was everyone. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yep. So, um, this guy's gonna get up. No, no, no. Uh, he, what, he did he die? He take all the damage. He took twenty five, right? He got knocked down. So there's five getting up, or half. Fifteen. He's gonna go up to there and pull out his musket. He's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna come up to the edge over here. Get behind this railing. Take another shot. Um, you see another one come out of the, the, uh, the doorway there. Uh, where's my bear at? Another one comes, comes rushing out. Jeez. 
And so we got two muskets coming in. We got one shot coming to this guy. Okay. Two? That's yeah, Burgess. That, okay. Yeah. So shot number one. Ooh. The dice fell. It doesn't count. Boom. Oh no. Fergus can Fergus handle? Fergus. How much hit points does Fergus us. have? He has four. Oh, his chance he lives. Uh slim chance. That's a plus two. Yeah. Slim chance. No. Boom! Nope. Fergus. <laughs> He's down. Okay, next. I would um, days are over. <laughs> <laughs> um, next one's gonna take a shot at this one there. Oh no. That's a uh... musket. Wait. Oh. Boom. Wait. Oh, that's Taro. That's the innkeeper. Oh, the innkeeper took fourteen Taro. damage. Oh Boom. my! Ah, oh, 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 yeah, <laughs> <laughs> explodes his top. Oh, oh. Like we're playing Doom Eternal. Just <laughs> 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 it's a red mist. They both they just go all look down. up. Oh my god! <laughs> Why did I the shit? <laughs> you see uh, uh, this this guy. With his second action, is going to pull out that bobble, and he clicks it. And you hear a beep, 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 beep. Yeah, oh, wow. we are playing Doom Because he's holding weapons. a thermal detonator. <laughs> and then the other one is going to pull out his longsword. It is now your turn. Wow. Uh, okay, here's what's going to happen. My boy right here, he's going to turn around and run back and grab the ball <laughs> run, off of this guy. No, I'm going to grab this guy's gun. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna grab his gun and his detonator and his bomb. What's the range on this gun? I don't know. You don't know. I'm just gonna take a shot. I'm gonna shoot this bear up here. Which one you want, left or right? You have you have uh, disadvantage, or you have they each, they both have cover on you basically. So Do they? whichever one you want to shoot. There's a big roll in front of him. Half their body sticking up. I can see his giant hippo. Exactly. Head. Half, half their there. body sticking up. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That's fine, dude. Thank you for making right my head. point clear. <laughs> Listen, man, I play a lot of Hunt Showdown. When you can only see the top half of their bottom, that just increases the headshot chance. Half cover is no cover, right? That's X XCOM rules. <laughs> All right. Uh, disadvantage? Uh, just, I'm going to take, I'm going to give two more to my AC. Just do it that way. Oh, okay. Uh, cover how do I get rid of one of these dice? I, I still don't know how to do that. Right click. Right click on the, the 20 on the bottom. <clears throat> ah, okay. God dang, no. Okay, boom. boom. Uh, just, as you shoot this thing, the gun goes flying back because you're not used to holding this kind yeah. of thing. And it is now... Who else's turn? What, uh, which one of them has is holding the BP thing? Uh, This guy right here. Okay, front, I'm front. shooting him with the ballista. Front guy. <laughs> He's cooking it as we speak. Can we get a dice clear? There's a lot of dice down there. <laughs> okay. Okay, ballista shot on that guy. Nope. Nope. It <laughs> was wide. See if this guy can catch up to over there. 30 feet. <laughs> uh, let's see what's in range. <sighs> oh, yeah, in range. Fire bolting that guy. <clears throat> Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> well, natural 20 or natural 1. He's got no in between. Okay, so you begin <laughs> you begin to cast the spell, and then you see, like, little licks of, of of static electricity start to run up your arm and run up your other arm and run up your up your face. And you guys can see... Uh, <laughs> Not Goral. This he old pop, gor Goral there like grape, just like is, <laughs> like, just like a buzz about his body. I'm gonna turn on some doom music because that's all I can think of now. Coral. Okay, who else? Uh, yeah, you go ahead. Um, my uh, which is apprentice Talara is going to a uh, stab with the dagger, the ritual dagger. So, <laughs> okay. So uh, wh which one? Go. The goat, or the the goblin? Yeah. For uh, eleven. Eleven is a miss. Well, that's it. Get stabbed in there, but it doesn't go through his. <laughs> doesn't get through his hippo hide. Well, GG. I guess yeah, that's it. Win. <laughs> the other one, that's as far as he could move. So, use your action to dash. 
Oh yeah, I guess yeah. I could. I'm gonna dash. Get in front of this dude. That's it. Yes, you should stand on the railing. That won't invite anything <laughs> negative. <laughs> wait, wait. Actually, I'll go here. Hey. You going down okay. there? But the railing was such a good spot. Why don't you stay there? That's it. Okay. Well, uh, everybody, uh, uh, David, you fired your mangonel. I so believe so. You, I'm gonna shooting with it. No, you haven't I'm fired it fire. yet. This turn. I have not. Unless you. Last yeah, time yeah, you fired at the, cap, at the cabin, right? Yeah. That was last turn. Oh, okay then. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if I can hit the hippos. Which one? Uh, can I hit both of them? No, it's got a um. I don't know what the rules on that is. It's just a big rock. You're just firing a big it's rock. Not a bomb. Yeah, you're just. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was like. Okay. Yeah, one target. I thought it was like a big electric bomb. Okay. You're throwing baseballs. We'll shoot this guy then. Okay. Mmm, there's a hit. Roll me some uh, damage. What is that, 5d10? Yeah, uh, yeah, 10d10. 10d10? Perfect. He's not going to be cooking that, cooking that grenade much Jeez. longer. Oh. Oh. Hey, so this guy, hippo parts that go boom, goat. go flying everywhere. Is this guy oh my. squashed under a uh, large, very large rock. And there's still beep, 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 beep. beep. <laughs> I like Still the going. thought of we're flying a spaceship full of rocks. <laughs> 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 That's what all of our storage is. Yeah. We've developed Bring the technology to fly through space. Oh, what kind of weapons you got for it? We throw rocks. <laughs> 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 okay, is that everybody? <laughs> uh, I'm going to shoot at uh, this bear. Okay. I'm just giving myself oh, plus two. Jammer, dude. I have a trebuchet on top Ooh. of my speech. Oh, yeah, it's a hit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 26 oh! ammo. 26. Oh, yeah. So he takes a shot and he does not look good. The, the ballista is in his it. stomach and he's okay. not looking healthy. Nice. My goose is going to move go. up. <laughs> it's a goose. It's going. <laughs> dude, it's going. Dash, dash, baby. Get there. Oh, dude, I got this. Check this out. <laughs> you ready for this? Does the goose have a ranged attack? Oh. Dang it! Ah, no! <laughs> uh, you're you're probably in range because you're you're going from the back of your square to the back of my square. Okay, yeah. What to uh, do? My, my goose up there is gonna go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and try to and try to intimidate. Oh, oh! <laughs> if you gotta make a DC twelve wisdom saving throw, you oh, man. become frightened of my goose. Oh, oh he's dang it. it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold, hold, okay, hold. and then my other guy. That would have been so nice 19. if it worked. It would have <laughs> been great. 30 feet and dash. Over there. No, in my turn there. Okay. Um, This guy is going to... Let's see, he's going to do that. Oh, we'll, we'll move this guy first. So he's going to come over here, and oh, I can't do that. I really want to do my cool thing. 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to go here, pick up the the grenade under his friend, and throw it. This is the longest fuse on a grenade ever. <laughs> it's, the second, it's, the, it's the second round. He cooks Each the first round. Five seconds, he right? set it for one turn. So and then he's <laughs> it's supposed to be this round, but that's a little bit much, so I'm... I'm drawing up the tension by giving it an extra round of cooking time. <laughs> so he no, you're, picks it up. It's about to go, so he's going to throw it. It was about to blow you up. That too. <laughs> 60 feet. How far can I throw this thing? Yeah. Fuse on this thing is insane. Whoa. It's only, it's not really that long because it's been six seconds. He's going to throw it right there. Right I'm here. I'm going to look up how long a grenade fuse is. Can I use a reaction to shoot it with a firebolt? <laughs> if you were more than level zero, maybe you could. <laughs> so everyone within... Actually, he doesn't want to throw it there. He wants to throw it not on his ship. He wants to throw it over... He's not going to throw it on my own ship. He so, I mean, he's not... That's as far as he can get it, so... <laughs> Grenades and... typically have a four-second timer before they explode. That's yeah, close. Two extra seconds. There's a space. 
<laughs> so he's, he's, he's gonna throw it and try to get it rounds. right on the edge here of your ship. So Since it's on the edge, does he have to make a check? Come on, oh, I want to see that. The... He's gonna have to make one. Oh, he doesn't the... make one, does he? Oh, I'm gonna make him one. Do one. I want to see the the XCOM where it just like falls right in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you're in range of that, which um... is nobody. <laughs> so he throws a grenade. Let's see his throw. The whole just do his deck. So we'll, we'll say he needs to make a ten. Oh, nope. and he does oh, not. No. <laughs> so he throws it, and uh, but it lands right here and kills him. No, <laughs> he's he still succeeds. It's gonna go, and it's, it's just gonna not quite make it far enough. So it's gonna fall on this gap, and then okay. boom, it goes off, and your ship rocks, but doesn't take any damage. Nice. Um, it's his turn. So this guy is, is angry at that goose, so we can take a shot at that goose. He's angry no. at the goose. <laughs> oh, boom, oh, he just shoot wide. This, um, goose this, dodges. This guy had a grenade that wasn't going to do any damage to ships, and he chose to maybe clip one person with it. <laughs> Perfect. These hippos are great. Well, what does it do? <laughs> well, it, it does some good damage. You Fine. said it didn't hurt our ship. Oh, uh, because, it, because it missed. It would oh. have probably done some damage. Okay. Uh, this guy, okay, so he does that, and he's going to come over here with his sword. He does that. Second action is going to be to swing at this little guy with his sword. Walks over there no. with his long sword or his cutlass. Whiff! Oh. Yeah. I think. No, I think. Um, um, seven. My ace. Yeah, no, that doesn't hit. Okay, he goes and he whiffs. That throw... This guy's going to pull out his musket. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, it is your turn. Okay. Everybody. Uh, oh, Ballista wait. at this dude. Actually, the back guy. Ballista at the back guy. Oh. Okay. Yes. Oh. Okay. So you got two... You got... Um, two hippos up there, both with. Well, actually, that's enough for him, isn't it? That is enough for him. He's surprised, and then and Melissa then, in the yeah. stomach. <laughs> this guy here that's swinging with the, with the with the sword is is very injured. Okay. Uh, this guy will move over here, I guess, and shoot a firebolt at him. Okay. Um, plus two AC money on me. Not enough for me. Not enough for me. Enough for you. Oh, <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I was like, wait, huh? Uh, okay. So one D ten. One point of damage. Okay, you singe. <laughs> you singe his hippo skin. Um, you you think you might have singed a few of his little hairs on his nose. <laughs> Get that barber up here. Uh, I need to go. I haven't gone yet. The barber's dead. I'll go. Oh, no. <laughs> I think the barber was one of the first ones to go. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's my turn now, right? Yep. Okay. You going to mangan that guy? Oh, uh, man. Go, yep. Rolling hot. Uh, it's going to be enough. But, yeah, you just smashed. He doesn't. That's just. <laughs> from, the, from off screen, you just. Thunk. <laughs> Big rock on the hippo. Okay, that's all the hippos you see on board this ship. We'll get out of okay. combat. Tell me where you want to go on this on board this ship. What do we uh, do now? You're gonna go you take over the ship. I'm not blowing it up. Look at this thing. It's got the biggest can. Its cannon is as big as our ship. Yeah, but this ship is more damaged than our other one. <laughs> yeah, our ship has more hit points. <laughs> Listen, we just tape our ship to this ship as a as like a <laughs> ship. Just tape it. it. Combine yeah. it. Let me get my space tape. <laughs> we'll I mean, why not? Together. All you have to do is stick it on top of one part, like a four foot strip of it, and then you jump and you swing underneath like Errol Flynn style and come up on the other side. <laughs> trying to find the helm on this thing. The helm is... I found, I found, uh, it. I found it. Yeah, okay. Um, I will, my character's would just wait to see what what we decide to do. 
Does this weapon giant look pumpkin. like the weapon that Rowan was talking about? Do what? Does this what does, does this, do we think this is the weapon that Rowan was talking about? This no. big cannon? No. <clears throat> do we have any idea where that would is it, does he think it's on the ship or Look around. Give me some Rolling perception damage, checks. Nothing. Okay. I'll give you four of them because I got four people still alive. Give me one perception check. Okay, take the first one. You have four people still alive? Yeah. Whoa! Look at All right. Yeah, so I you run to the more. ship and you notice that as you enter in, into the hold, there is. Um, uh, you see seven dead hippos in this ship. Uh, as well as. Uh, there's a dozen humans and elves also. There was a big battle going on in the bottom of this ship. But and then that cannon going off killed everyone. Looks like the hippos won, and then the last few came out to deal with you guys. So the ship is pretty much is empty, except you open the door to the... to the um, in the back of the ship, and you see this big hippo sitting in a chair. Oh. Eyes kind of glazed <laughs> right. over. Hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. What do you want to do? He's sitting there, um, looking at you, just staring at you. Okay. Oh, he's controlling the Everybody ship. run in. <laughs> Stop him! Ah, <laughs> all my people are just going to sprint at him. Okay, so he, um, he immediately goes for his, his musket. We'll, we'll make this an, an opposed roll, so pick whoever you want. Each of you can have one person to try to do what this is going to be like an opposed athletics or acrobatics. He's going to try to get his gun left. out and get a shot off. You're going to try to get that gun out of his hands and, and pin him down. Can I just shoot him? Uh, if you want to let me shoot first. But in the interest of He's trying gone. to keep it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so each of you can pick someone to try to. So all of your roles if you want. And all he's right. going to try to get his gun out to get a shot off. He's going to do poorly though. So. Ooh. Natural oh. 20. Oh. Ooh, who rolled a 20? Uh, Hopelorn. Okay, so he, Twilight. they're all standing in the doorway, just staring at each other. And then Hopelorn begins to make a move. The 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 commander begins to go for to grab his musket, but Hopelorn is too much. Flash, uh, too like much. a flash, jumps in there and knocks the gun out of his hands, and everyone else piles on this guy and starts grabbing him and no. pins him down. Here comes the goose. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Here comes up. <laughs> okay. Also, uh, in the other room next to this, you see some charts and some papers. Um, and uh, with your search of the ship, uh, you see um, mention of your planet. Um, I don't know. Uh, um, they call it ZLX23. <laughs> ZLX23, you see it. Um and you see also um, <clears throat> the design of one of the asteroids. This is like a whole asteroid belt. And on one of the asteroids that they have pinned, they have uh, circled is um, is written in a, the, the GIF language. Which I'm not sure what it says, but if one of you wants to try to decipher that with an intelligence check, whoever wants to go I'll and do, it. do that, who is going to go do that? Tell us. Uh, which of your heroes? Uh, I'll figure it out until I heroes. figure out who has a Dude, Nimin yes. Horn Solder's gonna help him out. Uh, yeah, so is Jennery Fire Bronze. All right, all right. Duggar, Sack Raider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. All right, Duggar. Ride that sack. <laughs> How many of you are still are still alive? Oh, my man. Uh, so Burgess and Taro. We got six. Oh wait, so not not. Oh wait, those are the ones that died. Never we got five. Five dead. So, we got twelve. I've died. Three of my guys. I've only got two guys left. The guy on the yeah. I should only have and... four total. We right. started with started with four. Yeah, I, sh I have two left. I got four. I rolled an eleven. I got four. Technically, I have five because the goose. But um, <laughs> you who's I got a twelve? You got a twelve. I got an eleven. Um, so <clears throat> you you're not. You're, you're, you're kind of deciphering, you're talking amongst yourselves, and um, you yeah, it's a couple of like, grunt scrawlings, and, and uh, you're not quite sure, but it, it, it could it could mean base. And it does kind of look like a like they're maybe maybe they're they're building something in this asteroid. And there's a, there's this line drawn from the asteroid 
into <laughs> your planet. All right, guys. And that seems that 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 fits. Um, and your intelligence check is, is to figure out if you can figure out how to get to that spot. And you think, yeah, you could probably get there. Um, as long as you kind of stick with the asteroid belt and fly to it, you can probably get there. Hmm. Also, probably a good thing you have one of their ships, because if one of your ships went into their space like that, you would get shot down instantly. Forrest is going to sit down in that chair. Okay, give me a constitution save. What are you doing with the captain? Shoving him aside. Checking his pockets for change and shoving him aside. Uh, he has. He, he's dead, right? We just like stabbed him to death. If we did jumped you? on him. I thought I've maybe pinned him down. Did you? Do you want to stab him? I was be stabbing him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. Oh, um, we're like villagers. He has a monocle. Really nice looking monocle. He's got a nice hat. Um, have you seen the GIF? The pictures of the GIF? Yes. Yeah. Ridic- ridiculous. <laughs> they they look like uh they look like safari explorers. Or something. <laughs> yeah. He's got a he's got a pith helmet. Yeah. Uh, he has he does have a grenade. He has a musket and he has a long sword. And he hey, has a nice a down. nice pipe. Guys, everyone that's left can have a gun. Uh, here, here comes the the con check. It's plus two. Oh wow, you do have a good con. Ten. Okay, ten. Yeah, so it's uh, you're not as you're overwhelmed by it, but you're not as overwhelmed as uh, what's his face was. Osnak. Osnak. Oh, uh, is Osnak the only? Ha- is he the only one you have left? No, I've also got Naminda Cornsolder, dude. Okay. Oh, you said you lost three. <laughs> okay. Um. But so you are you as you, you get a sensation and you can um feel the people walking on your ship and you, and you get a sense of how to fly this thing and you feel um this isn't so bad. I'm not a beggar anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're sitting there watching watching uh, Osnak do it, like think like bleeding from his nose and shaking and. <laughs> Listen, dude, he connects to that ship and he feels like he's got a hole in his liver because isn't this ship about to be blown up? Like, it's real close. Uh, yeah, it, you also... It's pretty damaged. Um, and um, everyone else... What are you guys doing, uh, the rest of the crew? As you start to get uh, well, this, your senses um, with this thing. I guess I'm uh, going to come over. Man the well, enormous look, cannon. <laughs> yeah, okay. How many people does it take to man that cannon? That, that cannon takes... Uh, Four, I think. Yeah, it takes four okay. to man that cannon. I'll man that cannon. Uh, I'll, I'll, my I'll help. Man that. Same. I'll put my two people on the cannon. If... David, don't you have four people still? Oh wait. yeah. He, oh, there. Oh, right. I'll, I'll have him to man that cannon. Are there other? Uh, are there other weapons? There are the two more ballista. I'll, I'll put another three on the ballista. Yeah, ballista. This, this is a little, little, little better drawn out. There's the ballistas are in the back. And you have that giant cannon in the front. All right. Okay, well. I'm gonna start moving this ship towards the quote-unquote base okay right and have an idea of where that is everyone getting off of the old ship and moving on to this yeah. one yeah yeah, yeah. well i'm getting off i want to like make it up flank us i want to get all the bodies <laughs> off the, the off the ship okay i kick them off the ship or something yeah you you throw them out in the space and they come back and slam into this because the gravity yeah <laughs> We could, just, we could just land the mosquito on on the deck of this and then use its weapons as well as the weapons that we have yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, why not? That, that we got like people to man them. <laughs> you, uh, you, have, you yeah. do you have a good? Whoever had the good intelligence check, um, yeah, says ah, that's not a good idea to bring one of these ships into their space. If we're gonna get in here and blow this base up, well, we got. I don't read much no. gift, but that says base, and that one says <laughs> kill on sight. <laughs> <laughs> There's a wanted poster with a ship that looks just like ours. <laughs> All right, everybody, all aboard. Let's go. I'm aboard. All right, okay. I'm flying. Okay, move your crew awesome. onto the, onto the ship. I'm gonna kick everyone else off of here. Move everyone on your ship. Put you put them where you want them to be. Uh, if you're dead, I'm gonna whoop, not that guy. <clears throat> throw you out of here. See <clears throat> you alive. Yeah. Get the bears. You guys are throwing the hippos <clears throat> out. <throat> throw them overboard. <clears throat> Where's the helm? The helm is in the back. Uh, port side. Kind of weird. My goal was great. He was the one that was loading the cannons. Port. Uh, is it the fancy looking chair? Yeah, the fancy chair. Like out so we got... in the middle of nowhere for whatever reason? <laughs> yeah, just sort of stick, sitting in the back there. Kind of like the captain's quarters, but... Okay, this here. It's where it has it. 
I'm not sure where you man. I'm guessing you man the gun on the top here. I think you man it from inside, I thought. The big gun. The big gun is is manned from outside. Is it actually on top? Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was manned from inside, but I thought was... it was like inside sticking out the nose. Oh, that's what I thought too, but it, it, it not on here. That description of that explosion earlier, it doesn't work anymore. My immersion's <laughs> broken. Uh, it, it fired back into uh, into here. Mm. <laughs> and fire bursted out of the windows on top of the deck. Yep. It went through the door. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm just going to delete this ship. So the mosquito's been cleared out. But there's still people there. Who's still up there? All right. Uh... Still people here. Who's uh the girl, the uh None of those are mine. Who's the three on the ballista up here? That's me. Okay, get them on right. the other put them on the other ship and put them where you want to put them. I'm, gonna, I'm about to delete this ship. This I need one guy. I need one guy to help me on the ballista. I've only got two guys. Yeah, I'll come. Nice, thanks, boss. You the best. Yeah, get rid of this. This nose here. Okay. All right. So, um, look at all those dice. You just see like the white specks. Six stars. Francisco's not gonna make it. What? I said Francisco's not gonna make it. Wait, what? He's what looking do you awfully mean? sleepy. <laughs> oh, uh, no, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Man, we're getting close here. We're getting close. It's eleven. We're going right. to die right now. So we're gonna you, die um, right now. <laughs> the, those of you on on the deck. As you start moving out down into this asteroid belt, uh, no, you see good. a glow coming from one of the asteroids. And you can see your home world way out, out there, but it's this blue marble. Um, uh, and you can see this this, uh, this this ominous red glow coming from one of the asteroids up ahead. It's a little way, it's a ways out there. And at 100 million miles, it's going to take you about... Three months to get there. Hours. A day. <laughs> Take a day. Three miles months. a day. But <laughs> it, 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 you'll get there reasonably quick. Post haste. Um, Post. -haste. Give me a. Um, yeah, you just you fly in normal, right? You know, you can try to gun it to get there immediately. Uh, do I? Is there a sense of urgency to this? Is it is as, it like as, as <laughs> everyone's yeah. coming over and starting to like get on board? Um, that, that orange glow on that asteroid is starting to get brighter. Oh. Then, yes, I will try to go quickly. Give me that con save. Uh, good, plus, good. Plus two. Con save, good, 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 con save. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you just, you, you, you don't even grimace. You just get a stern look in your eye. And everyone on, on deck lunges forward as this ship just starts taking off through this asteroid belt. Oh. Bobbing and weaving through these asteroids. And, um... You're all making, my years of begging. You're making a good time. This is this is what it was all for. <laughs> okay. Uh, is anyone on lookout? Uh, I guess well, my guys can do not lookout. have a job for lookout. I see there's like 15 people on this one ballista over here. Uh, and a goose. Well, should only be four. <laughs> I had two guys on it. The, the one on the left. I, wait, I just put all my people. Two over people. There. And the one on the right is just like the meeting crate, the meeting place. Yeah, three. we're just hanging out, talking, dude. Okay. Yeah, we're, yeah. If someone wants to give me a like a lookout check, give me a give me a perception check. I can give you a lookout check. Okay. Best best wisdom guy, which is I think it should be my. Yeah. Okay. Wizard, he's gonna be doing the lookout check. With a with. Ten. Okay. Uh, all quiet. Um. Your pilot's doing a good job of sort of weaving through these asteroids and not drawing attention to himself, flying casually, if you will. And um, so you are the first to notice it and look out. As you see one of these asteroids you're you're getting reasonably close to, just a regular asteroid, but then almost like a, a little piece of it goes out, like almost like a leg and another leg, another leg, and a whole bunch of legs start coming off of this asteroid. And then this shot of sticky webby residue shoots out from it as this asteroid turns into a spider, an asteroid spider and shoots out towards your ship what? Um, we took we didn't take the mosquito <laughs> how did they know? <laughs> uh, 
Um, is it just a free thing? One minute express is in. What is that from? Okay. Let's go. This we should have a... brought the mosquito. If they're gonna a... shoot at us on site anyway. This is a um, this is a monster. This is an asteroid spider. One of the asteroids turn is is a spider, but it looks like an asteroid, and he, his legs come out, and he shoots a shot of web at you, and it slams into the side of the ship and Oof. sticks onto you. As soon as it gets onto you, the your spelljammer guy, you lose you lose control. As soon as this happens, and there was a big web there. I want to take a break real quick. Very well. We'll be right back. I get her in bed. Okay. Okay, dokey. One second. There's no way. Okay, button pushed. <clears throat> okay, so um, you're flying through these asteroids, and we were just here to block the shot for the planet. No, um, it's over. The uh, <laughs> um, this this asteroid turned like it reveals to be a spider. Shoots a web out for free. It slams into the ship and catches the ship. Um, you lose concentration and you lose uh, the effect. There is a web stuck in, like, right... Let's say it's right here. Big gooey webby mess stuck right there. Yeah. And then... Um, and it stops the ship? It, yeah, it stops the What's ship it and, and, it, and it, oh, cu okay. it cuts off his connection to the ship as well. Um, and then we'll make... He's going to shoot out. How far does this work? Uh, okay, yeah. So, so then two strands of webbing. He's got that strand goes to the ship, and then two more fly out. And he's gonna send one at. Um, hang on a second. Okay. So he's got one coming out for this guy right here with an eleven. Does the eleven hit know. that guy? Uh, most likely. Who? Uh. The guy is lit up. Halfling rogue. Uh, I keep pushing my buttons. Uh, I gotta look. He's gonna get him. He's gonna get the other. The guy right here in the front. Two webs flying out. Is that supposed to be my cook, halfling cook? I don't know. You 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 put them whoever they were, and then uh that guy is grabbed. So those two webs fly out. Two web strands fly out, and. Um, they stick all over this guy. Um, okay. Uh, his AC is 13. What did you hit him with? 11? 11 misses him. 11 misses that guy? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it slams on the ship, misses him. He get, does get this guy, and then he pulls him back 60 feet. Oh. And let's go. So, whew, so and he's, he's flying off the ship into space. No. Oh, dang. Okay. He just died. He's got, he's got a minute just, of air. Uh, he's got a minute of air. <laughs> now it's your turn. What do you guys want to do? This thing's about 120 uh, feet out. I don't have a figure for it because it's it's same size shooting. as your ship. We're shooting this ballista at it. Shoot it. Shoot can you, like, swim shoot back? Gun. It's, Wait, can I, it's got, can I it's, like, got its web. Back? It's connected right there with a web. Uh, and that's it. And um, as that thing shot out from it, it shut off a couple others. And now it's your turn. Um, can, can we point the? Can the big gun shoot at it, or do we have to like move the ship? And you're gonna have to move the ship, and oh. you have you have no command of the spell jamming helm. Mm. Shoot the web! I'll use a ballista to shoot the web. Okay. All right. Well, I already missed my ballista shot, so whoever's next. Um, okay. Roll your 19? damage. Or whatever it is, whatever it is. Nine points of damage to the web. I'm gonna put a character in here, a figure in here, to represent the web. Ooh, look at this guy. You found the web figure. There's web guy. How much damage oh. you do? Nine. Damage. Nine points of damage. Okay, so it goes in and just sticks into the web there. Okay, anything else? You guys want to do anything else? Can my guys swim uh, back to the ship? We're done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sure. yeah, that's want. what he's going to go do. My guys are just yelling at everyone else, Cut the web! Uh, can you actually can you make it back to the ship with thirty feet, uh, with 60 feet? I don't know. You got control of your character. Use the thing. <laughs> you said it takes three people to shoot the ballista? Yeah. So I gave one to Eric, because Eric has two, right? Yeah. 
Can I use my other three to reload and shoot it again? No, because you yeah. can do... Um, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Um, I can't, yeah, I guess it's because it does take actions to do it. So, yeah, if it takes... Yeah. It takes three actions to basically fire a blister. One to load, one to aim it, one to fire it. Yep. I'm going to shoot at the web. I don't know. That might be a bit much because you can do all that. That takes six seconds, basically, to fire that ballista. Can you do that again like, in six seconds? Well, it's... Yeah, sure. Depends on if your name is Lee Harvey Oswald. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> we'll say for the, for the sake of 45 minutes left, go for it. <laughs> Is there anything in the rules? <laughs> of course there's not. It was spelled <laughs> <out of it. laughs> anyway. <laughs> the goose. The goose missed. Where'd the goose? Oh, the goose missed. So it goes flying wide. Okay. Uh, <laughs> move your guys if you're going to move them. And... I'm going to stay there for now. What are yep. you going to do? Okay, spider turn. He's going to start reeling this web in. So you guys are getting pulled in closer to the spider. Wait, uh, he... that, that web's on kind of on the front. Does it Does it pull the cannon towards him? Pulling us sideways, I think. Pulling us sideways, yep. Yeah. So it's uh, pulling you in, and you get pulled in uh, six. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, he's going to pull you in 60 feet, so we'll say. Okay. So, so he's, half you're halfway there now. And you got two more webs coming out. Oh, we got within 120 feet of this thing before. You're 60 it's... feet now. Yeah, it looked like an asteroid. Look how you're flying next to an asteroid. You didn't. That was David's uh, perception check failed. Um, so he's gonna send one at this little halfling guy again. He's mad about this guy. Uh, oh, you know what? He's oh, mad no. at these uh, guys firing blisters. He's gonna go for the goose and the and <laughs> no. the little halfling right there. The the, goose. These two right there. <laughs> so goose is Not first. Goose. Honk Not at him, goose. <laughs> oh, those are uh, plus six or thirteens for each of those. Yep. It's... Okay, so he gets them. They don't take any damage. Uh... They just get yanked thirty feet out. No. Oh, goose! The goose can fly, so that's okay. The goose can intimidate the it goose. now. He's <laughs> within thirty feet. <laughs> intimidate, intimidate that asteroid, dude. So he pulls him out thirty feet with his web, uh, and then just lets go of it. So this guy's gonna just sort of drift. Another guy over here is drifting as well. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. The the, the goose can totally catch him and pull him back in. You're still within the ship's a a atmosphere. Okay, so that's his turn. He's he's basically one more round away from being within range of, of getting all bitey. Uh, it is now your turn. You can see My this little is gonna, and trying to intimidate him. <laughs> okay. Wisdom save. Okay. <laughs> oh, gonna, I'm gonna fail this. Please, please, ship size let spider. it happen. Uh, oh, oh my god! god. Both times. Oh man, <laughs> these aren't very intimidating. They I are guess. Me. I uh, my my goose, goose will fly over to my other guy. Okay. Back. Yeah. Ballista at the web. Oh yeah, I guess I'll shoot a ballista at the web. Hey, okay, twelve's a hit. Give me damage. Nineteen. Nine points of damage. I You're plinking away at this thing, but it's it's gonna take more than that. I thought that's the ballista did six. Does it look like it's doing something, or is it like not? Is it a threshold issue, or is it a? It's just a thick, a bit, very thick and strong hunk of web. It's just, it's hitting it. It's just not hitting it very. It's doing damage. You're doing damage, but it's not, it not was, it as was, much as you were. These were um, only doing six to the to the hippos. It's right? just big, basically. Yeah. Not not that it's doing any less damage. It's just that it's. It needs okay. more. I gotta re-roll this. Uh, no, don't do. Uh, don't do. Yeah, just do. Yeah. Let's go. Eighteen more. Eighteen. Okay. Reload that ballista. So you got ballistas thonking into that thing. Uh, next, okay. anyone else? I got a plan next round. Nope. David, you standing there by that gun? I'm gonna have. Hmm. How far away from are we from the giant squid thing? Spider, spider asteroid. Sixty feet. Okay, hey. Sixty feet. This spy, okay. this spider is this is, it's actually bigger than your ship. Okay. This thing is massive. He's gonna, he's gonna cast. Uh, I got 30 feet. The necromancy thing, uh, the thing, the cantrip. Oh, it's casting the cantrip. The yes, told the dead. Doesn't he have to be injured or hurt for that? Nope. No, it just does more damage if he's injured. Okay. What's it, a save on my part? Yep. Yeah. He needs to roll a wisdom <laughs> save. 
Natural 20. Oh! Wisdom of what? Uh, he doesn't have a okay. spell DC, yeah. so... He, he saves. Oh. Okay. <laughs> As part of my move action, I want to use some of my 50 foot of twine to tie this grenade to the next ballista shot. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Before you do that, Joe, are you shooting another ballista shot at the... <laughs> I don't have the three people. Oh, they got pulled away. Way to go, Goose. Somehow it's Goose's fault. All right. Okay, you done? I think that's, that's it, then. Okay, so again, he reels you in another 60 feet. He is on the ship now. He's got his big spider claws on you. I will show you what you're looking at right now. For those of you that are seeing the stream, uh, ignore my numbers. What? There he is. Can you see the stream? can't make the picture any bigger than that. Actually, I guess maybe I can. What is it? A is it a monster? It's an asteroid spider. Okay. Oh, move my guys. You can look at it. I'm not using I'm not using those stats because you would die. <laughs> <laughs> you made some modifications. Um. Oh, it's a it's a meatball. It's a, <laughs> it's a, meatball. It's a spiky meat. That's a spiky there meatball. Go. That's <laughs> that's spiky what you're dealing meatball. with right now. Oh, I got it on stream. Okay, so he is he is there now, and he's getting his his spider legs wrapped around your ship, and he's gonna start taking bites out of the ship. Is he gonna do that? Um, is this one of those situations where the gif were just trying to keep us from activating this thing, and we actually defeated him and got here, and now we're the bad guys that have destroyed our own planet? Is that what this story is? Uh, you know the gif for bad guys. They have been. Terrorizing oh, okay. for two years okay. now. Um, so he's going. He's got the. I don't know. He's going to take a couple big bites out of your ship. Um, make sure I hit real quick, and then do. So yeah, he's chomp chomping into this ship, and you can see there's like an acid coming out of it, and it's just uh, just drizzling drizzling away the wood, drizzling, eating away at the wood on, on this side of the ship here, drizzling. as he's just chomping into this thing. Uh, and then he's going to send two more webs out. Pew, pew. He's going to grab this little goblin right over here. And we'll get this little halfling. Again, we'll get this little halfling right here. Oh, no. So, to the goblin. To the halfling. Uh -oh. Okay, so we get you both. Uh... And yanks you out 30 feet. No. Oh, wait. That would be... Wait, I so where... where is he? He's basically pulling him to him. He okay. he is on That's the he is the side of the ship. Talara. All right. Okay. So they're they are on on him right now, um, and in fact the 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 th four in space is there four in space right now? Did that what? How did this guy get back? I moved him back. He moved back. He he dashed back. How? You like drifting in space. That, he swam. Is, he did it. this. Yeah. <laughs> you are thirty feet away. <laughs> Drift. Breast stroke was incredible. Uh, but you're not right now. You are. You are. He like ran into you, so you are uh, attached to this spider now. Oh. So now it's your turn. How far out does the atmosphere go in the gravity field? Uh, for him, a lot. It'll. It's enveloping all of you. Oh, so the gravity has shifted to him now? Yeah. Okay. So That's everyone it. So on the they deck. were out there drifting, and then the, the, he got moved in, and they all got stuck to him now. So everyone on the deck, including people manning ballistas. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Uh, okay, well. So it's our turn? Yeah. All right, make another con save. Who? The DM. The, the giant uh, wis space wisdom spider. Save? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. God dang, dude. Your ability to roll 20 on wisdom saves. <laughs> Anyone else say wisdom uh, save for me? B ballista at the web again. We're trying to get control of the ship. <laughs> 8 plus 6 is... That's a hit. I think it's a hit. 21! Oh, okay, good shot. Alright, here we go. This is where I miss. This web's about halfway. You start to get a good chunk of it. Ah. Cut away. 
Jeez. I hit the button on this grenade and shoot my ballista at the the web. Yeah, at the, at the web. You're like blow up our ship with that thing. I don't care. Ah, twenty. Oh. Uh, 20. Oh hey, my God. you're uh. <laughs> wow. Anyone in that oh, in that man. orb there, which is the two David's two people there. Roll yeah, me. They're re dead. Roll me reflex save. Well, you don't worry about it. You get blown up. Well, roll him. You might, might make a twenty. And save right. yourself. A reflex. So save? give me five d six damage. Oh, uh, seventeen. Five d six. Yeah. Five d. And we another the, seventeen. The ballista damage. Double seventeens. Well. Fifteen. Did you make the attack? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a natural twenty. Oh yeah, yeah. Natural, natural twenty. Yeah, that's right. Well, we'll do a card. Um, Fifteen. So thirty damage so far. Okay, we'll do the double. Yeah, we we'll just do double damage. Oh, right. Everything or just the ballista? Uh, yeah, everything. Sure. So sixty damage. Okay, so as you fire this shot, boom! It explodes the web. And the ship is now set free. You gain control of the ship now. Uh, these two guys are uh, um, just a vis yeah, they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> Vaporized. Vaporized. <laughs> oh, as this no. thing explodes, and it does. So you got sixty damage on me. Yeah. Okay, you did sixty damage to the the uh, spider as well. Took a big chunk out of one of his legs. Now that oh. I got control of the ship, I'm turning it to get the cannon facing it. Fire the cannon. You there's got no one to man the cannon. Anymore. No yeah, one's there's there. There's one guy. There's one guy there. There's this Where? rat man down there. Okay, whoever hasn't gone, let's go. Do what you want to do. Um, get to I the don't cannon. Know what to do. It's pointed. I'm gonna run down to the cannon. I'm gonna start running. Are my you guys turning the, the ship cannon. to point it at him? Yeah, that was okay. all I was waiting for. Is that stupid web? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go help him out. Okay. Okay. What's my the, who, my three the, people are going to shoot that ballista. Me. Okay. Roll it. Hello, wizard dude. I'm going no, to shoot the spider. No, not him. This guy right here. Uh, 19. Yeah, who's is that? Is he dead? Oh, he's dead from the last combat, I think. Oh. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> 19's a hit. Oh, bang. 19 damage. Okay. Nice. And then my, my goose is going to try to help this guy get back. Goose is cooked. Half, ooh, half movement, but I can still make it. <laughs> goose flying <laughs> around carrying a person. <laughs> this, uh, this, who's who controlling this goblin? I don't what? know whose goblin that is. Whoever's goblin that is, you can attack if you want. Can I try to get back yeah you can um we'll say you can leap and try to get back it's fine yeah i'm doing that you can like crawl on the little... side of the guy and jump back on he's gonna ship. like yeah push his legs off of it like the side of a pool all right i'll do that i'll get back on okay there okay done That's everybody it. yep so he's gonna Wait, he's gonna who, who fired did, did no one fire the cannon no one can get to We're it Ryan. Oh, there's only guys, one guy at it. I saw some th move, I moving 30. Did everyone... Oh, you fired a ballista and then moved 30. Yeah, I fired and moved and then moved 30. Yeah. yeah. Who's this rabbit man under the stairs? Who's controlling him? Uh, Which one? Oh, yeah, I am. Move him 30 feet down towards the cannon. I No, I already did. I, he was he was uh, at the ballista. Okay, so the crab, oh, uh, the, the spider, go. he's going to fire a web at... He's gonna get this guy. That's that's. Well, no, he won't get him. He'll get he'll get these two right here, on the ballista. Oh. So we got two webs coming in. Uh, Ooh. is a twelve get? Um, guy with the green hat. He that one is my half. Yeah, twelve hits. So he pulls both of them in. You get mad. And. He's going to pull them both to his face and start chomping. Ooh. Ooh. Man, I don't really need to roll this, but... They did. <laughs> chomp, chomp. Oh, almost a natural one. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> chomp, chomp, and just destroys these guys. Oof. No, not no. melding twig iron. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, uh, that's web strand. Maybe he's reeling you in and then he makes it two bites. Okay, it's your turn now. I, 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 did, I, dashed. <laughs> I dashed to the cannon. We're still not on the cannon. <laughs> now the oh, ship's no. huge, dude. <laughs> Uh, I'll use my dudes up here to fire the ballista at the spider. Okay. Uh, actually. No, got him. Yep. Give me that. Give me damage. Oh. Eleven. I'm gonna go out of the ballista. I like the light show on the ground of all the dice. Yeah, it's like stars. It makes it look <laughs> like stars. Yeah. Okay. Anybody? Uh, everybody moved. Uh. I want it. Move her up here. Yeah, there you go. He's gonna move over here. They're just my two people are just gonna start loading and getting ready to shoot the ballista. Okay. You got a third person make there, the it goose, baby. Right here. That's it. <laughs> they load. They you know what? The goose. goose the, the goose, goose is actually. Yeah. As an action, the goose, I mean. <laughs> the goose is gonna fly over and start trying to fight this thing. Okay. It's gonna hit it. Intimidate him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make him intimidate him again, baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll intimidate. Okay. Oh man. Wisdom here we go. Wisdom. Here comes a natural twenty. Oh, oh no! Oh. I got a nine. Wisdom DC twelve. Hey. Hey. Yeah, he's scared of that <laughs> goose. <laughs> the goose. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. How does that happen? It's time to shine. Spider's turn. <laughs> the spider, freaked out by this honking, never heard honking in his life, throws the ship away. And oh, bro, just, just, just grabs you, and just what? throws it, throws you out there, and we'll say he throws you into an asteroid as he takes off running. What? We're trying to get to the end here. We got thirty minutes. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. And um, <laughs> spell jammer, goose. spell jammer, make me a uh, a con save to try to avoid ramming yourself into this asteroid that he's throwing you into. Plus two, sixteen. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're slot, you slam it, but you hit the air brakes, ah, stop, and ev narrowly avoid this asteroid that he throws you into as you see this spider curling up back into an asteroid wow. and in, in front of you you see <laughs> this glowy red asteroid which is as you get closer now you can start to see that it's starting to like there's like a spinning action going on with this thing and it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter we shoot it. Shoot the cannon. Shoot the th I aim the I aim the cannon. Aim the ship to face the brighty thing. You can try it. It's it's a long way out, so it's not going to be easy to do. Uh, what's the range on the cannon? Do we um, it's like 10 miles, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like forever, isn't it? Yeah, but you're like probably millions of miles from this thing. Well, if you're, okay, maybe not that far. <laughs> you're, yeah, uh, say, if we're that far, we can't see it at all. It's 100 million miles, so you're, you're in space. It's just a glowing, you can clearly see it. It's black, <laughs> it's except for this orange and red glowy asteroid. You can see the moon, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, um... <laughs> We'll say it's it's two million miles away. Um. Okay, fire the cannon at the spider once, and then I'll start heading that way. I just want to fire this cannon at something. <laughs> Pushing the spider. All right. Look at the cannon. stars. Oh, oh no. no! Oh my! This God. is where it ends. Uh, rip rip the ship. Rip the ship. <laughs> BG, we're all um. dead now. <laughs> That's not gonna do it. Get a good one here. Um, <laughs> this gun is fired twice, natural one. Okay, give me. What well, I'm gonna do is just do what you did before. So, uh, David, give oh me 15 d10. Oh, oh. 16. Sorry, 16 d10. As you begin to fire uh, this thing, but you never fire this thing before. You don't know what you're doing. Which <laughs> why, which side does the cannonball go on? You load this thing up and you pop it in there. Okay, Captain, good. You fire it away and oh, it goes oh, flying back and boom, oh, it explodes and oh, flies into this hold here and explodes. Um, kills us all. Except the, the goose. It doesn't actually <laughs> the goose have an explosion, on. but it, it, <laughs> it, it takes out the inside there. Um, what deck are you on? Wow. Spelljammer. Actually. I'm up here. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, so as he fires the shot... Your ship has 300 hit points. You, you have taken 218 points of damage. <laughs> he fi he dead. fires this Keep shot and explodes out the backside of this ship. Um, the ship is no longer in... You can no longer control the ship, which you've already got a heading going that way. Spelljammer, 
We're gonna say you did. Because the fire what? the shot went. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you? Which which deck you Four on? Four forest. Let's see which deck you on. Hang on, we'll see. We'll see. Are you in the right? Oh, you are a right one here? above. Okay, okay. So you're fine, <laughs> but you lose control of the ship. As, this ship sucks. <laughs> as yeah. this thing Can't fires, this I thought thing. you're on the lower deck. As the whole backside of this thing just explodes with that Oof. cannon going off in your ship, and you now have zero, less than zero hit points on this ship. You have no control of the ship. You are flying at that red asteroid. Yeah, really. What we were doing, we were just trying to, we were shooting the cannon backwards to give ourselves a boost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta get a move on. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta we're go. Like, we're going hey, you're for it. barreling towards this asteroid. You'll be there in just a minute. What are you gonna do in your your final minute as the back of your ship is falling apart? Wood pieces are flying away. <clears throat> yeah. Is the cannon still operational? Fire the it's, cannon! It is still Firing operational. The <laughs> Fire the I'm afraid. Uh, <laughs> the giant cannon. <laughs> hey, you fire it. Boom! It goes flying wide. You have alerted the defenses. As you see uh -oh. two ships, just like this one, start coming in to you, your just direction. Keep firing. Fire, just fire, 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 yeah, fire. You can get two more shots as you're flying in before they're going to be able to get to you. Fire <clears> again. <throat> keep firing. Got him. There you go. Um, How many? 16? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay. not nearly as good. <laughs> So, all right, one more shot. You fire this into this red. Um, no. Nope. <laughs> what's what they've got here is you've got an, an asteroid that has like been hollowed out, and there's this red glow coming from inside. It looks like there's lava and things in there, and it's spinning around. Don't ask me how there's lava on an asteroid. Just go with it's it. It's like a Kalon <laughs> ship. And um, yeah, yeah, and it's spinning <laughs> around and charging up, and you can see this. You can see this orb in the middle of the asteroid that you hit. You didn't seem to do any damage to it. You blew away some of the rocks, but it's yeah. still there. Okay, well then we like lost. Like the Death Star, you have to hit it right in. Can the we center. give him yeah. advantage on the la on the final shot? Someone else comes up there, is like, "Stop aiming so poorly. Aim it like this." <laughs> you can't aim. It's a it's a cannon that to a ship. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a lot of control over the ship. So as it is right now, you're going you're going into here. Um, you can try I mean, to. What do you want to do? Oh, I don't know which one we do. I'm just going to dump all the gunpowder for the cannon out on the deck so that when we run into this thing, it blows us all up and blows it up with us. Oh, you want to go out like you want to sacrifice yourselves? We can't Absolutely. get another shot off. We're not, yeah, we're not sure. gonna, we're not gonna make it anyways. Okay. We took our three shots. You said you could get, and like this ship's going full speed at them with full no control. Speed. Okay, nah, we're um, dead. Prepare for ramming speed. The little <laughs> grinder snack is going to look at the goose. Go. We've been friends for a long time. <laughs> honk. Be free, my friend. Oh. Be free. Honk, honk. <laughs> the goose will off. fly away <laughs> into space and die. <laughs> One will live. Flies away in, the into space. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so go ahead and make me an attack <laughs> with this oh, thing. As you're charging, this, are you 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 firing it? Or are you charging the gun to like? What are you doing? I was just gonna. I was gonna like. Set it up to blow us up as soon as we hit. Okay, give me an intelligence check to try to rig this thing to blow. I have not uh, been rolling. Can I though. assist? Sure. Yeah. You're flying in. These two ships are coming in. They begin firing <laughs> at you. <laughs> <laughs> but who who is who's your last guy you got here? One of your guys. All right, let me look at him. Who? Dude. Naminda Cornsolder has a plus one intelligence. Okay, Naminda <laughs> says, I got this. She she pushes someone one of you guys aside, steps up there with her torch. And as you're flying in, just like Independence Day, this beam starts charging up, and then this, this red beam shoots out and envelops your ship, heading straight for your planet. But Naminda charges it up right as it hits you. And there's this loud and bright flash as everything explodes pieces of, no. of rock explode uh there's uh, um the goose is flying away <laughs> yeah. as this as this wave of of plasma and whatever energy flies out and envelops the goose and, and destroys everything in this sec in this region of the asteroid belt including the spider gets enveloped in this explosion of of uh stellar proportions however you cut the beam off as this blows up and saves your planet. 
Oh, fantastic! And you've wow. saved the day. No one remembers your names. Oh, <laughs> not even the goose. <laughs> No one at the market. All the market saw us all get on there, and we all die, and they're not even gonna like build us a statue. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, they they that's right. They were there. Yeah, we put some statues of you. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You they can see it from the planet. One big goose. Yeah, with little <laughs> yeah, tiny people around it. <laughs> 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 yeah. He scared off a space spider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's something he's never seen before. He's seen tons of ships. He's seen tons of people, but never a goose. He yeah, heard that it. that noise and was like, what? What is this? <laughs> that heinous noise. This spider has like, um, he's a challenge rating 15. And that, that ship snare that he has, is just it just happens. It lasts for a minute. And there's no like way, it's, it says it's impervious to damage. What? Uh, you, can, you can cast a spell magic and get rid of it though. Oh. I changed that because that was a little bit... Uh, well, yeah, it's real possible. Zero, zero characters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, listen, man. But I wanted to use I've, I've seen that picture for a long time, and so I wanted, wanted to throw one of those in there. I figured we should see some Spelljammer stuff. And there we go. We got ships. We got combats. We got spiders. We exploded. We all died. That was interesting. We went out yeah. good. We got it. Yeah, on a crit. Mission successful. Best, way, crit. best way to go out. <laughs> the last dice. Natural 20. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Pretty good. There we go. Okay, I got my one shot fix. Yeah. Fantastic. So we're talking to Elberdar yeah. next week, right? Next week. I'll have a chat with you. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Yes. Bye. 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 I, I even changed my overlay for this. I, I oh. um, crazy, cranked up the contrast. Oh man, oh, I cranked man. up the contract. <laughs> the contract. <laughs> I haven't looked at it. <laughs>